We're here at the Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show and coming up we'll give you a first hand look at all the fun things you can see and do this weekend right here at the State Fairgrounds. I'm Justin Kolar and your Fox 59 Morning News at 6 starts right now. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. And only Justin can prevent forest fires this morning. Thanks for being with us, everyone. 601 and you're watching Fox 59 Morning News. We're in for some fun today out at the boat, uh, Indy Boat Sport and Travel Show. You saw Justin out there, so stay tuned for that. There's going to be some good TV to watch yes, this morning. Yes, uh, Thanks for being with us, everyone. I'm Zach Myers. And I'm Melissa Crash. We're joined by your weather authority, Amber Hardwick. Amber, we are so ready for this warm-up. So ready. Yes, yeah, so it's cold this morning. It is yes. a chilly morning, but it is going to improve as the day goes on. Temperatures are going to rise into the lower 50s heading into the afternoon. Right now we have a mostly clear sky and we're not picking up on much activity on live guardian radar. We still have higher pressure that is in place and that's going to keep things dry for us. And we're also dealing with lighter wind speeds at this point. Winds are going to pick up today and that's what's going to drive temperatures up into the 50s heading into the afternoon hours. Right now we have winds out of the south. 5 to 10 miles per hour across the area with our temperature now at 23 degrees. It is 25 in Muncie, 26 in Shelbyville, and it's only going to go up from here. Factor in that light breeze, still have a wind chill right around 13 degrees. Here's a look at the bigger picture. Higher pressure just off to the east. That's why we have winds shifting out of the south, and that's going to improve those temperatures today. And by 10 o'clock this morning, we should already be in the mid 30s. Quick jump in temperatures not only today, but for the next couple of days, we are tracking mild weather conditions. Also, a soggy start to the week. We'll have the latest on our next round of rainfall coming up in your forecast. Now to a Fox 59 crime tracker alert. Police arrested two juveniles after a chase that ended in a crash last night. Yeah, the crash happened on the north side near 22nd and College. It's not clear right now how the pursuit started. IMPD says it ended when the driver crashed into this light pole. Now we know that the car was stolen and officers found a gun, an illegally possessed gun in the car. Both juveniles were taken into custody. New information this morning. Police are asking for your help to find the person who hit and killed a man early yesterday morning and then took off. It happened on the south side near the intersection of East Troy Avenue and Beach Street. Now this surveillance video shows the man walking down East Troy Avenue just before 330. As he approaches the Beach Street intersection, what is believed to be a gray Honda Odyssey comes up from behind and hits him. Police say the man was pronounced dead there on the scene. Police say the van is likely damaged on the front passenger side. A woman who lives nearby told us she hopes that whoever was driving will do the right thing and turn themselves in. I hope they come forward. I hope that they feel so guilty. I hope they feel like they can't sleep at night. They can't eat. You know, they need to come forward and and say, I'm sorry I did this. Police are asking anyone who has information to give them a call or call Crime Stoppers. That number 317-262-TIPS. IMPD is also investigating a deadly crash on the northwest side near 56th and Kessler. Three cars were involved in this crash around 7 o'clock last night, which left one person dead. Three other people were hospitalized. They are expected to survive. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Also, police continue investigating yesterday's early morning crash near 62nd in Michigan, which left a woman dead and a man critically injured. We brought you this as breaking news yesterday morning. Police say the driver lost control and hit a pole. The car caught fire. A woman in the car died and the man was in critical condition at last check. A woman is facing charges after a five year old boy from Shelbyville was found alone wandering a street in Ohio. Someone driving through the area of Coleraine Township spotted the boy and called police. Police believe someone drove him there and left him before he was found an hour later. Detectives have signed warrants for his mother, Heather Atkins, and are searching for her this morning. This investigation is ongoing. Anyone with information should call Coleraine Police there in Ohio. That number is right there on your screen. 
And happening later today, the community will come together to honor a state police sergeant and her daughter who died in a house fire in Monticello. State Police Sergeant Stephanie Thompson and her 17-year-old daughter Maya died in the fire in White County Thursday morning. Thompson was a 23-year veteran with state police. Maya was known as a strong swimmer for her high school. A candlelight vigil will be held for them at 6 o'clock tonight at the high school at Twin Lakes High School teacher parking lot in Monticello. Young Hoosiers around Indianapolis got the chance to share their concerns with those working to keep them safe. True Colors hosted a true dialogue. Several teens spoke about things like their education, bullying, and violence. And people like Indianapolis Police Chief Randall Taylor were there to listen. Violence is never the answer. So stop. So put the guns down, put the knives down, put the fist down, talk. People got to stop being the bystander and they got to be the upstander and help people. If we're committed to you, uh, to the youth of this, uh, this city. Anything that we can do to help uh, them get through this and get the help that they need, especially on the, the mental health aspect, uh, we're there and, and, and really for that. But uh, really, really, really impressed with, uh, with this group. For all you young folks, please uh, keep your drive going. Don't let anything get in your way. The goal of the panel this weekend was to create better relationships between our youth and city leaders. Teens led and moderated this panel. Well, it may be cold outside, but you can still enjoy the great outdoors in Indianapolis at the Indianapolis Boat, Sport and Travel Show. Of course, the show was canceled last year, like many, uh, because of COVID, but the celebration continues now at the State Fairgrounds. Yes, and that's where we find Fox 59's Justin Kolar this morning, and he has a look inside for us and what you can expect. Good morning, Justin. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, trust me, this will probably be the tamest live shot you see from us all morning, but we thought it'd be a good opportunity to kind of set the stage, let you guys know some of the things, and for folks at home too, some of the things you can see and do today at the Ford Indianapolis Boat, Sport and Auto Show. We're joined this morning by Mitch Renfro. Mitch, you guys with Renfro Productions put this on. Yep. We're inside Champions Pavilion right now, just one of seven buildings yep. that folks can kind of mosey through. Tell us what people can see. What are we going to see oh, yeah. walking through all this today? Well, there's a lot. So you plan the whole day to come here because this building is all about travel. So you can book trips from Canada, you know, Australia, uh, Tennessee, from all over. And then we've got buildings with fishing tackle, kayak fishing, boats, RVs, we've got a little bit of everything for everybody. It's really exciting because we've been following this at different times throughout the year, but COVID-19, one of the good things that came from it was it really renewed that excitement for the outdoors. Oh, Do you think yeah. that's going to kind of carry over into the crowds you expect to see? I think so. I mean, the biggest thing we saw was boat and RV sales just went skyrocketing. That means families are out going to campgrounds again, going on the lake, enjoying what, you know, Mother Nature's got to offer. So this show benefits from that, obviously, because people are now tuned in and it's great to see. One last thing for you here, sir, and thank you for waking up with us, getting us inside, getting the lights on, heat on. When can people come out here today? How much does it cost? I understand there's a way to get tickets a little cheaper online. Yep, absolutely. So we start at 10 a.m. today and go to 5 p.m. Get your tickets at IndieSportsShow.com for $14, or if you want to wait to get here, you get 15 at the gate. Okay, thank you so much, Mitch. No it's been a pleasure. Thanks. We will see you guys in about 30 minutes, and we'll get into some more fun things. I think they're going to stick me in a kayak here, so stay tuned for that. I'm Justin Kolar at the Indiana State Fairgrounds this morning, Fox 59 News. Yeah, Justin, we'll have to see which form of travel or which boat ends up being your favorite this morning after you try everything yes. out out there. That sounds good. Awesome. Can't wait, Justin. Thanks so much. World leaders have their eyes on Russia and Ukraine this weekend as an invasion could happen within days. And this morning, the reason Ukraine's president is showing frustration with the U.S. Plus, a day at the beach turns into a tense rescue mission as a helicopter comes crashing down into the water. Look at this. The group effort then to save the people inside that helicopter. And we're going to see lots of sunshine for today. The bigger story here, how much temperatures are going to rise, not only today, but heading into the new work week. We'll have the latest on those temperature trends coming up in your forecast.
Daytona 500 today at 2.30 Eastern on Fox. Join Cruise Unlimited Club for unlimited speed and unlimited shine. When you join the club, you'll have access to your very own VIP lane so you can wash and be on your way. Sign up at any Crew Car Wash location to begin enjoying unlimited washes. This winter, Comcast Business is helping Team USA and businesses across America stay ahead. Keep yours ahead, too, with reliable connectivity and secure solutions on the network that can deliver gig speeds to the most businesses. And get access to over 20 million Wi-Fi hotspots from coast to coast. So no matter what big event comes up, your team can be ready for what's next. Get started with Internet and Voice for $35 each a month when you buy both. Plus, ask how to get free installation and one month free. You're good at making big announcements. We're having a go! <laughs> We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. Honoring Black History, Mind, Body, Soul. Widely regarded as the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin was a singer-songwriter, actress, and civil rights activist. Recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, she sold over 75 million records, including hits like Respect and A Natural Woman. Starting out singing gospel, she won 18 Grammy Awards and is one of the best-selling artists of all time. Honoring Black History is brought to you by Citizens Energy Group. Get normal back with Ortho Indy. Watch Tuesdays at 8 a.m. No store stocks more. We're God be home furnishing. For weather authority forecasts all day long, listen to Business News 97.5 FM. Some scary moments in Miami. Look at this. People enjoying a day at the beach, and then this happens. A helicopter crashes down into the ocean right near the shore yesterday afternoon. Wow, scary there, especially for the people out in the water. But then the swimmers rush in there to help the people on board. People were trying to hold the helicopter up so the helicopter didn't sink so they could try to get the people out. Um, people on jet skis came up and were trying to help. There's a lot of people coming up to the beach to try to help. Miami Beach police say that two people were taken to the hospital who were in the helicopter. Their injuries and uh, their conditions have not been released at this time. It's still not clear what caused the chopper to crash into the ocean. That's terrifying. Wow. wow. President Biden has indicated he believes a Russian invasion of Ukraine is all but certain. The United States appears ready to respond by issuing sanctions on Russia if the attack does happen. Fox News correspondent Mark Meredith has the latest from the White House. President Biden says U.S. intelligence officials believe that Russian President Vladimir Putin has already made up his mind and that he plans to invade Ukraine within a matter of days. It was a fairly bleak assessment we got from the president on Friday evening, even though there are still ongoing talks in Europe about ways to avoid war. We have reason to believe the Russian forces are planning to uh, and intend to attack Ukraine in the coming week. In the coming days, we believe that they will target Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, a city of 2.8 million innocent people. Make no mistake, if Russia pursues its plans, it will be responsible for a ca catastrophic and needless war of choice. On Saturday, Vice President Kamala Harris also met face to face with Ukraine's president. He, too, was in Munich, Germany, attending a security conference. In her remarks, the vice president once again reaffirmed America's commitment to Ukrainian sovereignty. Any threats to your country, we take seriously and we have rallied our allies and our partners to speak with one voice. And those voices have been reflected throughout the course of these last couple of days and before. But after the meeting, Ukraine's president appeared to take a swipe at the U.S. and its allies for so far not imposing sweeping sanctions against Russia, despite the increase in escalation of tensions and the belief by many, not only in Washington, but across the pond, that war is likely to break out within days. They say we apply sanctions when the war will happen. I'm okay. saying... Fine. But you are telling me that it's 100 percent that the war will start in a couple of days, when then what are you waiting for? We have seen a little bit of a debate, though, in Europe between EU allies as well as members of NATO 
who are trying to figure out exactly what should and should not be included in any sanctions package, specifically when it comes to Russian energy exports. At the White House, Mark Meredith, Fox News. And police in Canada are breaking up protests in downtown Ottawa in one of the largest police operations in Canada's history. Protesters against COVID-19 restrictions and mandates have been occupying the streets there in front of Parliament Hill for more than three weeks. Ottawa police say 38 vehicles were towed yesterday and they made about 170 arrests over the last two days. The government invoked emergency powers to break up the demonstration and freeze bank accounts containing donations for the protesters. They also plan to reimburse Ottawa businesses that suffered losses because of the blockades. So that's an ongoing situation to watch there as Absolutely. we go into the work week. Right now we're checking on the, the local situation and the crazy ride that we're about to be on here this week. There's all sorts of weather planned, right, <laughs> Amber? All sorts. There's a lot to look at with this forecast. We have mild temperatures to start the week and then another blast of winter is going to return too. And even this morning we are starting off with chilly temperatures and we are in the 20s and winds are streaming in out of the south and that is going to be a big factor in today's forecast because those southerly winds, they're going to drive temperatures up into the 50s later on this afternoon. 23 is the temperature right now. We have winds out of the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour. 26 at this hour in Shelbyville, 22 Bloomington, 25 degrees to our west in Terre Haute. And it's only going to go up from here. Now showing you some of the wind chills now, and it feels even colder out. Feels like 13 degrees at this hour in Indianapolis with a wind chill down to 10 degrees in Kokomo. Live Guardian radar. It's looking quiet this morning, just a few scattered clouds over north central Indiana. But we currently have higher pressure situated to our east, and now that it's east of us, we have wind streaming in out of the south again, bringing us those warmer temperatures. Wind speeds are going to pick up this afternoon. We could even have gusts nearing 35 miles per hour. And again, with winds out of the south, that's going to keep temperatures much warmer in the next few days, rising into the 50s. 50s heading into the afternoon. 50 degrees, 1 o'clock, and then we should have our high right around 53 degrees later on today. Normal high for the date is 42, so temperatures are going to be unseasonably warm. We'll have quickly warming for the next few days, and winds will be out of the south southwest. Sustained winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Again, gusts up to 35 miles per hour going to be a possibility. Staying pretty mild through the evening too. We'll drop back into the mid 40s at 10 o'clock tonight with our overnight low only dropping to 40 degrees. We'll have a few clouds around staying breezy, but wind speeds at that point they are going to turn a bit lighter and then we should have stronger winds heading into tomorrow. A chance for rain that's going to arrive very late in the day and we'll have our high at 62 degrees. Rainfall amounts, they are going to pick up up to an inch by the time we get to Tuesday in the uh, late afternoon hours, but we will have those showers moving in Monday late in the day becoming widespread Monday night and into Tuesday. It is going to be pretty widespread heavy at times up to an inch going to be a possibility with that rainfall by Tuesday late in the afternoon and evening 61 for the high temperature Tuesday falling temperatures and then on Wednesday back to winter. It's looking much colder. We'll have a high at 33 degrees, a mostly cloudy sky and then another system we're going to have to closely watch because we are going to have the opportunity for rain and snow mixing in on Thursday 36 with snow showers next Friday morning 31 for the high and then looking much colder into next weekend. Oof, but let's pay attention to this Sunday and Monday. Let's just focus on those because mm -hmm. it is just going to be so great after all the cold and the snow yes. that we had to deal with Even just to with enjoy the this. Yes, and the sunshine. Yes. I think we're even going to have a good amount of dry time for Monday too. Good. So the rain chances are going to hold off until later and they're going to be lighter and then it should turn a bit more widespread overnight. Just kind of watch where you're driving every now and then because I've already noticed like all of these changes that it's like a pothole paradise. Oh, yes. Like, yeah. So Oh, just, don't even get me started on that. Yeah. That it is. That's a good way to phrase it. Pothole paradise. It's a pothole paradise. paradise. It really is. Okay, <laughs> Amber, thank you. Hey, looking to buy a new SUV to take on the road this summer to avoid all those potholes, right? We're talking about 
Our auto expert has the perfect vehicle for you. Up next, he'll show us the best one with three row seating. Plus a key automaker is moving ahead with a new election uh, electric production line. We'll tell you why Nissan is spending uh, half a billion dollars in the southern states. Some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. We are professional grade GMC. If you have advanced non-small cell lung cancer, your first treatment could be a chemo-free combination of two immunotherapies that works differently. It could mean a chance to live longer. Optiva Plus Your Voice for adults newly diagnosed with non-small cell lung cancer that is spread, tests positive for pd one and does not have an abnormal EGFR or ALK gene. Together, Optiva Plus Your Voice helps your immune system launch a response that fights cancer in two different ways. Optiva Plus Your Voice equals a chance for more time together, more family time, more time to remember. Updevo and Yervoy can cause your immune system to harm healthy parts of your body during and after treatment. These problems can be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have a cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, irregular heartbeat, diarrhea, constipation, severe stomach pain, nausea or vomiting, dizziness, fainting, eye problems, extreme tiredness, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, rash, itching, confusion, memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, joint pain, flushing or fever. These are not all the possible side effects. Problems can occur together and more often when Updevo is used with Yervoy. Tell your doctor about all medical conditions, including including immune or nervous system problems, if you've had or plan to have an organ or stem cell transplant or received chest radiation. Here's to a chance to live longer. Ask your doctor about the combination of two immunotherapies of Devo plus Yervoy. Thank you to all those in our clinical trials. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. Ruh -ruh. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first bedillionaire. With AT&T Fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gagillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to 5 gigs. Limited availability. You're watching Fox 59, Indy's home to Daytona 500. When shopping for a vehicle that can seat six to eight people, you know, pretty big, the choices can be confusing and pricey. Price ranges between $20,000 and more than $100,000. Our auto expert Nick Miles lists off those vehicles that he scores the best out of all three row SUVs. Of course, in America, everything is bigger and better, including our midsize SUVs. And we've reviewed all of the three row SUVs. So what are the best sellers and the best for you to buy? Here's the list. Vehicles are scored on reliability, standard features, safety, value, usability, and driving dynamics. On this year's list is Subaru with the Ascent. It has a huge number of features and starts under $33,000. Now, modern third row vehicles have loads of legroom. This Ascent has over 42 inches, its own heating and cooling in the second row, plus its own USB port, 18 cup holders, and I don't have to touch my sister. Driving dynamics score well, as does standard equipment. Now, Subaru is also the adventure brand, and even though the Ascent is not based off of a truck, it's still very capable. With its box engine, it has a low center of gravity and X mode, which means that it can do some fairly decent off-roading. 
There's plenty of other vehicles on the list that should be test driven. The Toyota Highlander, which comes in a hybrid and has an extremely spacious second row. A newcomer in the three row SUV segment is the Jeep Grand Cherokee L. The Jeep Grand Cherokee itself is the most awarded SUV in America, but the addition on the third row is relatively new and brings it lots of more luxurious features to the brand. The new Toyota Sequoia is also worth mentioning. It's a diamond in the rough. The capstone trim level is exquisite, built, designed and tested in America and will have great reliability and resale value. Our pick for the most outstanding third row has to be the newest luxury brand in America, Wagoneer. An extension of the Jeep brand and the third all-American luxury brand next to Cadillac and Lincoln, Wagoneer is the ultimate three-row vehicle Hollywood meets Nashville. A true Americana mode of transport, it even pays tribute to those that served with the American flag on the door. Class and luxury, a feeling of genuine home-felt goodness. For Fox 59, I'm Nick Miles. Nissan says it's investing $500 million in its Canton, Mississippi plant. The plan is to convert it into an electric vehicle manufacturing facility. Nissan is planning two new electric models starting in 2025 as part of an $18 billion fleet expansion through 2030. Nissan will ret retain employees and add 2,000 more jobs. The decision comes after the expectation of a full recovery from the semiconductor chip shortages. Well, Hoosiers got the chance to explore a deeper level of black history this weekend. Still ahead, we'll share how local businesses got involved to help everyone from learning and understanding more about each other. Plus, hey, ever dreamed of going on a cross country road trip? Me too. We're live this morning at the Ford Indianapolis Boat Sport and Outdoor Show, but right now I'm in a Winnebago up here. In a few minutes, we'll take a tour of a mega trailer. You don't want to miss it. Maybe a chilly start to our Sunday, but we are going to have a quick warm up today and in the days ahead. We'll have the latest on how much highs are going to rise in your community in your forecast. Wake up with Angela Gnote on Fox 59. Sunday, the President's Day sale only at The Room Place. Take an extra 25% off your entire purchase. Plus, save with 0% financing for five years and no down payment. Enter to win a $10,000 home makeover. The President's Day sale only at The Room Place. One day, Sunday. Thank you, Central Indiana, for making Ford F-Series the best-selling trucks in America for the 45th straight year. And it's no wonder when you have an F-150 with best-in-class payload and Super Duty with best-in-class horsepower, you know that F-Series is not only built for America, they're built for Central Indiana. Now, build to order a new Ford vehicle, including an F-150 truck, and get $1,500 bonus cash. Hurry to your Central Indiana Ford dealer today. American Family Insurance filmed a commercial featuring real dads and their kids. No scripts, just family. Because nothing speaks louder than that. Press, press, press. Time to say our prayers. Theo, Theo, Theo. <laughs> Are you ready to say your prayers? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, wow. Guess what? You get two kisses. Uh oh. <laughs> Frontline Plus is the number one name in flea and tick protection. So whether you have a first dog, a third dog, or member of the herd dog, a playful dog, a matchy dog, a water dog, a catchy dog, or a hug on the neck that you want to protect dog, Frontline Plus lets you take them everywhere, no matter how you define it. Frontline Flea and Tick Protection. Here, there, everywhere. Available for dogs or cats without a prescription. Crew Car Wash's new ceramic fast wax offers better protection and even more shine. Sign up for the Ultimate Unlimited Washes to wash as much as you want and keep your vehicle shining. If you're always asking, where next? Capital One has a new class of travel card for you. Introducing Venture X. Earn 10x miles on hotels and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One Travel. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges. Find your where next with Venture X. What's in your wallet? 
Sunday. The President's Day sale only at The Room Place. Take an extra 25% off your entire purchase. Plus, save with 0% financing for five years and no down payment. Enter to win a $10,000 home makeover. The President's Day sale only at The Room Place. One day, Sunday. Welcome back. We are getting ready for a windy warm up in central Indiana on this Sunday. Right now, though, still cold out there, but just get ready for this because it's going to be getting a treat. warm. It's going <laughs> to be a treat. And you know what? As we check back in here at 630 since we last chatted, I'm reporting potholes online right now. Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just kind of I just, you know, because you know where they're at. I know where they're at. And we were talking about it. All this wild weather that we're having. You can just I mean, you I'm sure have noticed it when you're out driving. They're everywhere. Yeah, they are. Well, when you say it's a treat, it's going to be a mixed bag, sort of like you give out at Halloween. Just a, <laughs> it really like, is. A, like a box of chocolates. So know, this forecast is all over the place. It really we're going to have spring like weather to start the week and then another Another round of winter is on the way, Still so here. let's go ahead and dive into this forecast now where we have mostly clear skies across central Indiana at this hour. Uh, just picking up on a few clouds, though, over north central Indiana at times overnight, and we're not seeing strong wind speeds at this point, but wind speeds they are going to pick up heading into the afternoon. Right now we're at 23 degrees in Indianapolis, 25 Terre Haute, and it's 24 in Lafayette with wind chills down into the lower teens. Right now it only feels like 13 degrees outside. Here's a look at the bigger picture here. We're still seeing higher pressure over the area and that's going to keep things dry for us. Plus we're going to have temperatures warming up quickly now that winds are streaming in out of the south and when they pick up in speed that's really going to help temperatures to rise back into the lower 50s this afternoon. That windy and warmer weather here for a couple of days, but then we are monitoring a system that's going to bring us our next round of heavier downpours. We'll have the latest on rainfall amounts that is coming up in your forecast. All right, Amber, thank you. And Fox 59 continues to celebrate Black History Month. Hoosiers got the chance to explore it on a deeper level this weekend. That's with the Black History Month immersion event, art, poetry, performances. All were on display at the Global Village Welcome Center off Lafayette Road. Guests could also shop with black owned businesses. Organizers say it allows anyone from any culture to learn and understand each other. America has so many people that are rich in culture, right? But I think people need to know and, and appreciate that black history is part of the American fabric. And so we have done so much for this country. And what better way to show it than to have people come and tell the stories of our ancestors. Admission to the Global Village Welcome Center is free. The artwork is on display until March 14th. Well, right now, 43 animals are in their forever homes this morning after Indianapolis Animal Care Services hosted a big adoption event, uh, event yesterday. The shelter says it's still in a state of emergency, though, very full with limited space and limited staffing. Right now, they're only accepting animals that are in emergency situations, and all the animals that are surrender, surrendered are at high risk of euthanasia. If you find a lost animal, they're asking you to try to find its owners first before taking it to the shelter. If you want to surrender your own pit, uh, pet, consider other resources in the area or find a home on your own. We have every available space that we have with temporary crates set up. So they are lining the hallways, they are lining some of our larger rooms that have some floor space, and we have dogs in every available kennel and also in every available office as well. So we've got, we have dogs everywhere. All adoptions right now are free for cats and dogs. The shelter opens today from 10 to 5.30 and every day next week except Monday. Okay, we just heard the forecast. Let's think about spring, right? The Indy Boat Sport and Travel Show was canceled last year because of COVID, but it's back big time at the State Fairgrounds this weekend. Fox 59's Justin Kolar's at the State Fairgrounds right now. Shh, psst, shh, don't bother him. He's napping. Justin, wake up. 
Hey, what the heck, guys? Can't you see I'm trying to get a little shut-eye here in the trailer? They say you never get a better night's sleep than you do in the great outdoors. But is it camping or glamping in a motorhome like this? Check it out, guys. We're here at the Ford Indianapolis Boat Sport and Outdoor Show, and we are joined by Rusty here with Mount Comfort RVs. Rusty, tell me a little bit about the got to be a Herculean effort to get something like this set up. All of these RVs, motorhomes, trailers in this space. Oh yeah, we'll have probably 20 of our employees out here um, spending days just moving RVs in, moving them around, getting them cleaned up, getting them ready to go. We're having fun in here this morning. What's your favorite feature, would you think, about this motorhome specifically? Yeah, so th this one specifically is um, kind of the cool thing about it is you're about 35, 36 foot motorhome on a with a diesel engine, but it's four wheel drive. So you talk about off-roading, right? Yeah, you can get to some places maybe that aren't just a jelly stone. You can get to some really outdoorsy places. And speaking of that, you know, we're here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. This is a great opportunity for folks who maybe aren't avid campers right now, who maybe want to get into that world. Why is this a great opportunity for folks to take a walk or a little siesta inside a, a motorhome like we just did? Right, so you got some of the best dealers in Indiana here right now. Um, you have uh, tent campers. Um, travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes. So there's a, a good selection of everything. So somebody who's just trying to figure out, you know, what is it that's right for me? It's a good place to see a, a lot of what's out there in the market. Yeah. Hey, Rusty, thank you so much for yeah. waking up, taking the thank time, you. and showing us all these cool units here. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to get a little bit more sleep before we come back out to you in about 30 minutes. I'm Justin Kolar at the Indiana State Fairgrounds, Fox 59 News. Dreaming of days at the campground. Right? Nice that looks there. so nice. I'd go camping if I had one of those. It's, That'd be nice. <laughs> if, if you haven't been in one of those, it's amazing. It's like, I've been in some of those before that I'm like, this is nicer than our house. I was <laughs> just about <laughs> yeah. to say that, yes. Very, very cool. All right. Well, coming up next, uh, we're having a look at sports, and things are starting to shape up when we're talking about basketball state championships. Yes, after the break, we're going to recap the semifinal round of the Indiana High School girls basketball playoffs who's moving on to play for that title that answer much more coming up next in sports amber and we're going to have another day filled with sunshine but temperatures they're going to improve as we head into the afternoon we'll have the latest on how much highs are going to rise not only today but heading into the new work week we will have the details coming up in your forecast Viral videos of travelers gone wild spreads fear among flight crews. Getting our noses broken, our teeth knocked out of our mouths. We don't feel safe. Fox 59's Shell Edme investigates the rise in unruly passengers. It's not acceptable. What's being done so we can safely fly the friendly skies? We want all of us to get there safely. Monday on Fox 59 News at 10. Window Nation is here to beat the winter cold with their triple zero sale. Zero down. Zero payments. And zero interest until 2024. Plus, get two free windows with every two you buy. No limit. This offer is only valid through the end of the month, so call today. 866-95-NATION or online at windownation.com. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. We are professional grade GMC. Get fast, reliable internet for any budget. Act now to get Xfinity internet for a great low price. Or visit Xfinity.com free to see if you qualify for the affordable connectivity program. Qualifying customers can get free high-speed internet for more streaming, chatting, and gaming on all your devices. Ready for more value? Add Xfinity Mobile for as little as $15 a month. Go to Xfinity.com free, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today.
Want to save $4 a ticket to the Ford Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show? You can when you bring your hunting, fishing license, or boat registration to the box office on Wednesday, February 23rd and Thursday, February 24th. This sportsman special is only available Wednesday, February 23rd and Thursday, February 24th. It's our deepest discount of the year with $4 off adult admission. The Ford Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show, the biggest sports show in the nation. Details at IndieSportsShow.com. Another Renfro production. Madonna at AmericanEagle.com is monitoring a website with dozens of integrated systems. So if anything goes wrong, she'll spring into action before you even notice. Nothing gets by Madonna. <laughs> at AmericanEagle.com, we got a guy, Tim, who's so good with emerging technologies that help his clients grow, you'd think he was from the future. <laughs> Are you a hologram from the future, Tim? <laughs> Very realistic. Window Nation is here to beat the winter cold with their triple zero sale. Zero down. Zero payments. And zero interest until 2024. Plus, get two free windows with every two you buy. No limit. This offer is only valid through the end of the month, so call today. 866-95-NATION or online at windownation.com. Good morning, this is Sports, I'm Dave Griffiths. Four classes, four teams still battling for a state championship in each of them entering yesterday, but we couldn't keep them all. Girls basketball semi-states took over Indiana gyms yesterday afternoon and evening. We're going to start in class 4A out in Jasper, second ranked Franklin facing mid-state conference rivals Mooresville. Second quarter action, Scarlett Kimbrell, her third three of the half, 11 points for her in that first half, and the Grizzly Cubs of Franklin led by 10 at the break. But the pioneers of Mooresville rally. Abigail Young connecting from deep, cutting it to a two-point ball game. Franklin, though, with a response in the fourth quarter. Ashlyn Trailer driving strong. Bucket off the glass plus the foul. She led everyone with 21 points on the day. The pioneers not going away, though. Rachel Harshman, her three cuts it to a three-point game with a minute to play. Later, Grizzly Cubs turn it over. Mooresville one more chance, but don't get a good look at it. Not quite. Franklin wins 49 to 46. Who's going to be up next for him? More 4A action in the port. Noblesville and Crown Point. Miller Nation traveling well. Tied late in the first quarter. Noblesville pokes it away, gets the steal. Ashlyn Shade scooping it up and taking it all the way by herself. Easy layup off the glass. Beats the buzzer, makes it 16 14 after one. Second quarter. Noblesville blows it wide open with some clutch shooting. First, Caitlin Shoemaker. Pops the three, knocks it down. Quite a few players hitting from beyond the arc in this second quarter. Ashlyn Shade, one of them. The UConn commit, let me just say, if you were there last night, you understood why UConn's interested in her. Great passing from Noblesville in this game. Ava Shoemaker gets it in the opposite corner, drains the triple, 62-41. Noblesville moves on. We'll go to 2A ball. University has been knocking on the door recently. The Blazers are back in semi-state for a third time in the last four years, but they haven't made it to the championship since 2008. Well, the 14-year drought, does it end this year? Blazers taking on Forest Park in Jasper. A few shots falling for University early, but this Peyton Say three-pointer does. University trailing big at halftime. The Rangers stretch their lead in the second half now. University trying to get going. Say another two-pointer. That's off the fast break. Then Jordan Patterson in the corner, knocking down the three off the inbounds play. University hitting shots there on the run here again. Patty Chikamba, the rebound, puts it back in, and she's fouled. She had 12 points. Blazers cut the deficit to just seven, but Forest Park had another run. Amber Treader beating the third quarter horn with that shot. Let all scores with 17 did Amber. Forest Park wins 53-44. Frankton played for the 2A title two years ago. They're trying to get back to the field house. Fairfield in their way. First quarter, Emma Sperry with the ball. A little fadeaway jumper action for Frankton. Those are the first points. Didn't happen through uh, the first half of the first quarter. Moving on now to the second quarter. That's Bria Gardner from beyond the arc. Fairfield leads 8-7. to seven. Now time winding down in the first half. Sperry picks up the loose ball and goes straight to the hoop. Aggressive take. Frankton leads 18-13 at halftime. We'll skip to the fourth. Things getting intense. Frankton down by two, but Bailey Webb gives her team the lead with that triple. 11 seconds to go now. Fairfield gets one more chance, but the Eagles' defense is swarming. Fairfield can hardly get a shot off. Fifth, uh, 35, rather, 34. Frankton wins and moves on. Indiana Wrestling State Championships decided last night at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. We'll start with the small weight class. 106 pounds, Jake Hockaday of Brownsburg is a state champion 
After a 4-3 decision, he becomes the first Bulldog freshman to ever win states. The team finishes second. 120 pounds, Warren Central's Kyrell Level. A 9-5 decision for the state title. The first state title for Warren in quite some time. 132 pounds, Cathedral Zeke Seltzer finishes his career with a third state championship, was in the championship match all four of his years in his career. Heck of a career for the young man. The team champions were crown point, their crowning moment, 138 pounds. Jesse Mendez coming away with the pin here. He becomes the 10th four-time state champion in Indiana history, one of the best to ever hit the mat in the Hoosier State. The long IndyCar season is coming to an end as the open wheelers make their final preparations before the grind begins next weekend. Navigating the changes from year to year, team to team, race to race, whoever manages those changes best will have a good shot to lift the Astro Cup at year's end. The cars are, you know, changing every year with additions. The tires always shift a little bit. You know, the dynamics within the paddock change. We've got new drivers. We've got, you know, new team personnel. There's a lot of people that move around. So it's just a never-ending game of trying to keep up. And, you know, for us, we, we want to get to a point where we're not just keeping up, but, you know, we're leading the pack. Uh, if we're leading the pack, then we're doing things right. And in the stock cars, the countdown is complete. Zero days remaining until the 64th running of the Daytona 500. That means it's today, 1 o'clock, right here on Fox 59. That is sports for this Sunday morning. Go out and make it a great day. Good morning. It may be a chilly start to the day, but we are going to have improving temperatures heading into the afternoon and skies are mostly clear pretty much across central Indiana and we're going to have another day filled with sunshine too. This morning winds are out of the south and that is going to be a huge factor in how warm it's going to get this afternoon because southerly winds that's going to drive temperatures up into the lower 50s later on today. For now, we are starting in the lower 20s. It's 23 degrees outside and we have a wind chill factor too with that mostly clear sky. 23 Kokomo, 24 Lafayette currently having wind chills in the lower teens around the state. We're not seeing any snow showers on Live Guardian radar. It's pretty quiet across central Indiana and pretty much throughout much of the Ohio Valley. And that's because of higher pressure that is now to our east southeast. And that is why we have that southerly wind flow and why temperatures are going to warm up nicely later on today. Wind speeds, they're going to pick up too. We will have gusts potentially up to 35 miles per hour this afternoon. So if you have plans to be outdoors, yes, it is going to be warmer, but it's also going to turn rather windy for today. Mostly sunny this morning, and then we will continue to have that sunshine around for the afternoon. Winds will be out of the south southwest later on today, 15 to 25 miles per hour. And then for the afternoon, highs are going to be in the upper 40s, lower 50s across central Indiana. For the evening, temperatures not falling too much. We're actually going to be in the 40s, so not a bad evening to head out. Mostly clear skies, 46 degrees by 8 o'clock tonight, and then at 10 p.m. we'll drop to 44 degrees with our low temperature tonight at 40. A few clouds around, staying breezy, but not seeing that strong wind flow that we're going to have like this afternoon. For tomorrow, High at 62 degrees should be in the lower 40s this time of year, but it's going to be much warmer. Plus, we are going to have a chance for rain that's going to arrive later in the day. Looking at the timing now with our Fox feature cast, this is 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow where we have that mostly clear sky. As the day goes on, more clouds, they're going to fill into the state and we even have a chance for perhaps a few isolated showers heading into the afternoon, also evening. The steadiest rainfall is going going to arrive Monday night and into Tuesday. That's when we have an opportunity for a few rumbles of thunder. Also heavier downpours are going to be possible associated with this system heading into Tuesday. Rainfall amounts upwards to an inch going to be possibility and some of those spots wouldn't even rule out the possibility of isolated higher totals over southern Indiana. And if you find yourself under a thunderstorm and those embedded heavier downpours too. Temperatures are going to fall throughout the day Tuesday we'll have a high at 61 and then dropping late in the day when a cold front passes we will fall to uh, 25 degrees by Wednesday morning and then Wednesday afternoon it's going to feel more winter like again we'll have a high at 33 degrees a mostly cloudy sky with a chance for rain snow mixed Thursday and then snow showers into Friday morning.
I mean, 62, 61. I'm sure, I, yes. I mean, you know me, that's, that's shorts to me. <laughs> yes. You You're know. probably not alone in that. I'm <laughs> sure so many people are like, all right, here's now, maybe, springtime. Maybe not in the rain. Probably not while I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, when you once for me, actually, once it hits 55, I'm I'm in shorts. Oh yeah, so, you know. in shorts. I mean, hmm. that's seven days, the perfect recipe for potholes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we like, know it? We were to have all the ingredients laying out. That's it. So it's be careful. <laughs> so central Indiana, right there on your screen. Yes, yes, it definitely is, Amber. Thank you. Hey, big movies are out this weekend in theaters. Up next, Dean Richards will re will preview a story about a man and his best girlfriend. And let's go racing. Daytona 500 is this afternoon. We'll tell you when. You can see it right here on Fox 59. This is a dream come true for me. I dreamed of having my own show since I was a little girl. I was born in Los Angeles, raised in a really tiny town outside of Sacramento. But I've worked all over the country in various cities. And one thing I've noticed that everybody has in common, they all want to feel better. My personal purpose is to have conversations that bring us back together. I want to be able to give voice to your story. We are a quilt of different stories. And those stories are going to be knit together in Morning in America. What's so great about being a Kroger Boost member? Free delivery on the Kroger products you love and more rewards like double fuel points. Boost by Kroger Plus, a new level of membership starting as low as $59 a year. Learn more at Kroger.com. Only at Metro by T-Mobile, you can upgrade to 5G and get more. More choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones, like the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, more 5G coverage on the T-Mobile network. And more savings from the most affordable unlimited plans with 5G included. Get more free 5G phones, more 5G coverage, and more savings. Only at Metro. At American Family Insurance, we protect your trip so you can pursue your dreams and have peace of mind on the road. The It's Not Where We Visit, It's Who We Visit policy from American Family Insurance. Into the road trip. Protect yourself on the road with a travel peace of mind package included when you enroll in the Know Your Drive program. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. Maybe instead of installing a water slide to get people to come to work, all we needed to do was order lunch through Easy Cater for everyone. I'd come in for this. You could do breakfast, treats, box lunches, stuff people love. That does sound more productive. Oh, hey, Claire. I finished the status reports. Thank you. <laughs> no running. How do you get people to the office? Every time. How? Easy Cater. The President's Day sale you've been waiting on is going on right now at God Be Home Furnishings. With thousands of items in stock and ready to be delivered to your home now. Take an extra 15% off our already low prices. The President's Day sale is happening now at God Be Home Furnishings. At Kroger, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Channing Tatum makes his directorial debut and stars in Dog, a film inspired by the connection he had with his four-legged best friend. Yeah, the, the trailers for this look pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Dean Richards has more in today's movie review. What is your deal, man? Maybe just take the crazy down one notch. No, 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 no! No! You're just a demon. You're just a demon! I am pretty much a sucker for any movie in which man's best friend is one of its stars. In the case of the film called Dog, it also stars Magic Mike star Channing Tatum, who returns to the big screen after taking a few years off of movie making. In it, he plays an army ranger who has been assigned to drive a dog across the country to the funeral of another army ranger. Lulu is a beautiful Belgian Malinois who in this movie is an out-of-control 
adult canine who attacks everyone, destroys everything, never stops barking. Not exactly the best company for a long road trip. But the basic plot line aside here, the charm of this movie is watching the man and the dog warming up to each other. Sort of like watching a 10-year-old boy with a cantankerous, playful pooch. The scenes here are not corny nor maudlin. They're fun and heartwarming and easy to enjoy. I also sort of admired that for much of the movie, Channing Tatum is on the screen without any other humans to work off of. It's just this self-deprecating movie star boy and his dog. It's a perfect film for the family, especially if you love our four-legged friends. I give it a Dean's List B+. It's in theaters only. Hey, kid. A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Also new this week is Spider-Man star Tom Holland, along with two-time Oscar nominee Mark Wahlberg in Uncharted. Based on the PlayStation game of the same name, it's an action adventure about a young Wheeler dealer who is recruited by a seasoned treasure hunter to recover a fortune that was lost 500 years ago by Ferdinand Magellan. What starts off as a recovery heist turns into a race to reach the prize before someone who believes he is the rightful heir does first. It's a by-the-book action movie that stays within its own lane, but on the plus side, one that benefits greatly from a smart script and also the two leading actors that demonstrate some flawless odd couple chemistry. It's an above average offering, especially during these winter movie doldrum times. I give it a Dean's List C+. It's only in theaters. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Hope you have a great weekend. In Chicago, I'm Dean Richards. Also, NASCAR season is back in action, and you can watch the Daytona 500 right here on Fox 59 this afternoon. Kyle Larson will lead the field to the green flag. Country music star Trace Adkins will sing the national anthem before the flag waves at 2.30. Football Hall of Famer Charles Woodson will serve as the Daytona 500 Grand Marshal. About 100,000 fans are expected to be at the race today. It is sold out. So again, the Daytona 500 happens this afternoon right here on Fox 59. Ooh, big day. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in our latest round of Indies Best, we want to know what you think is Indies Best bowling alley. Does it have the best lanes, the best food? Great theme nights. Go to fox59.com slash Indies Best to nominate your favorite bowling alley you have until Tuesday morning. Hmm. We've got a lot more coming up in our next hour of news. And Zach, let me tell you, our Justin Kolar has a full itinerary of events planned for this morning. Busy day for him. He's checking out the 67th annual Indie Boat Sport and Travel Show at the fairgrounds, the state fairgrounds, showing us the boats, the RVs, the lot, a lot more. Ahoy! We're going to give you an inside <laughs> look at the big event next. And check out this stunning sunrise over Indianapolis this morning. We are going to have another bright day for central Indiana, plus tracking mild temperatures, the latest on how much warmer it's going to be in your forecast. The weather tech's here. Weather tech is the ultimate protection for your vehicle. Laser measured floor liners, no drill mud flaps, cargo liner, bump step, seat protector, and cup phone. What about my car? Weather tech. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Kirkpatrick, for devoting your lives to missionary work throughout Africa. Hi, I'm Quinn Buckner, a proud member of the American Senior Communities team. We are so honored to serve a generation that has really made a difference. Thank you, Central Indiana, for making Ford F-Series the best-selling trucks in America for the 45th straight year. And it's no wonder, when you have an F-150 with best-in-class payload and Super Duty with best-in-class horsepower, you know that F-Series is not only built for America, they're built for Central Indiana. Be sure to check out the Ford display at the Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show at the Indiana State Fairgrounds, February 18th through the 20th and the 23rd through the 27th. Call 1-800-2-KELLER. Keller and Keller. Right now.
safe auto? Some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. President's Day sale at Family Leisure. Buy now and save money on pools, patio furniture, pool tables, and more. Spas are priced to move. President's Day sale going on right now at Family Leisure. Go unlimited at Crew Car Wash to wash as much as you want. Sign up online or at any Crew Car Wash location for unlimited washes and unlimited savings. You're watching Fox 59, Indy's home for the Daytona 500. Catch Daniel Miller weekday mornings on Fox 59. And good Sunday morning, starting off our day with clear skies and chilly temperatures. But it is going to warm up and the wind speeds are going to pick up too. We'll break down your Sunday forecast and talk about how much warmer it is going to be for today. That's coming up. Police are asking for your help finding a vehicle involved in a deadly hit and run from this weekend. Details on what they're looking for. And the search continues for a Shelbyville woman who police say abandoned her five-year-old boy, leaving him wandering in the streets in Ohio. The charges she faces as the investigation continues. And I'm Justin Kolar on a boat inside the Indiana uh, boat sport and outdoor show here in a rustic, beautiful old wooden boat. We're going to have a lot more here coming up in just a little bit. Your Fox 59 morning news at 7 starts right now. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. Ooh, look at that sunrise oh. over central Indiana right now, you guys. It looks like a postcard or a, a wallpaper you'd want on your, uh, your phone or your screen or something Absolutely. like that. Very, very cool. Well, we are looking forward to some sunshine here. A little bit of a, a chilly start to the day, but not as cold as uh, we were starting the day yesterday. So some improvement, right? And it's only going to improve from here. Okay. At for least the, the time being. For, <laughs> for the, the time, time being. being. Yes. Yeah, so we have a lot to. Yes, we have a lot to discuss in this forecast. But today we're going to enjoy that sunshine and this beautiful sunrise over downtown Indianapolis. We are not seeing. Any cloud cover pretty much across central Indiana. There were a few clouds last night, but higher pressure, it's still in control, and that means we're going to have more of that sunshine for today. 23 is the temperature right now, and winds are out of the south southeast, 7 miles per hour. 27 in Shelbyville, 26 Muncie, and with that breeze out of the south, it does feel even colder outside, and we still have that wind chill factor. Feels like 15 degrees right now. This is a look at the bigger picture. That high pressure is now east of us, and that is drawing in winds out of the south, and that is going to be a, a big factor in temperatures today because they're going to quickly rise in the next few hours and well into the afternoon, too. 31 likely going to be the temperature heading into the 9 o'clock hour and at 10 a.m. temperatures in the mid 30s already. We're going to have sunny weather for today. It's going to be much warmer for the afternoon. We're talking highs in the 50s. I will let you know when we'll see high temperatures in the 60s, plus the timing for our next round of rainfall. That's all coming up in your forecast. Now to a Fox 59 crime tracker alert. Police arrested two juveniles after a chase that ended in a crash last night. We know the crash happened on the near north side near 22nd and College. It's not clear right now what started the chase. IMPD did say that it ended with uh, when the driver crashed into this light pole. As you can see in this photo they put out. We know that the car was stolen and officers also found an illegally possessed gun in the car. Both juveniles were taken into custody. Police are now asking for your help to find the person who hit and killed a man early yesterday morning and then took off. It happened on the south side near the intersection of East Troy Avenue and Beach Street. This surveillance video shows the man walking down East Troy Avenue just before 330. As he approaches the Beach Street intersection, what is believed to be a gray Honda Odyssey comes up from behind and hits him. Police say the man was pronounced dead there on the scene. Police say the van is likely damaged on the front passenger side. A woman who lives nearby told us she hopes that whoever was driving will do the right thing and turn themselves in. I hope they come forward. I hope that they feel so guilty. I hope they feel like they can't sleep at night. They can't eat. You know, they need to come forward and and say, I'm sorry I did this. 
Police are asking anyone who has information to give them a call or call Crime Stoppers. That number is 317-262-TIPS. A woman is facing charges after a five-year-old boy from Shelbyville was found alone wandering the streets in Ohio. Someone driving a, in Conlorain Township, that's a Cincinnati suburb, spotted the boy and called police. Investigators believe someone drove him there and left him before he was found about an hour later. Detectives have signed warrants for the boy's mother, Heather Adkins. They're still searching for her. Anyone with information is asked to call Coleraine Police, and that number is right there on your screen. Well, it may be cold outside, but it's not too early to enjoy the great outdoors or at least start thinking about spring and outdoors. The Indianapolis Boat, Sport and Travel Show is happening. Yes, the show was canceled last year, like most from COVID, but now the celebration continues at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. We're getting an inside look right now with Justin Kolar. He's out there on a boat or in an RV or who knows <laughs> what he's doing right now. Justin? Hey, good morning, guys. Right now I'm actually on my own two legs, but that won't be for long. We're going to get in a boat on the water, I'm told, in just a little bit. Right now at the Indianapolis uh, uh, Boat, Sport, and Travel Show. I've called it a million different things on air today, but that's what it's called. We're actually talking about taking a trip this morning. We're joined by Todd Heath with Gold Arrow Camp, wanting to take folks up to Canada. Right. Tell us a little bit about, I mean, it has, the headlines have changed so much in the rules on how folks can do these excursions, these trips. Tell us a little bit about how folks can go and enjoy this now that things have opened up a little bit. Just in the last two years, been a roller coaster to ride. Uh, they closed the border back in 2020, so we lost all of our 2020 season. Last year in 21, they finally opened the border in August, so we had about a three-month period of our normal season. But this year, going forward, great news on the horizon. Uh, they've changed a lot of rules. We're wide open. We're ready to go. Um, you've probably heard that there's some testing required to get across the border. Uh, in the past, they required you to do the 72-hour PCR test. They've changed that just about a week ago. Now, going across the border, you just have to do the antigen test, which is a lot cheaper, a lot easier to get. The kickback, though, coming from Indiana is that you still have to have that test done within 24 hours to get into the border. Okay. So that's still somewhat of a sticky situation for this area. Our guests maybe live closer to the border. That's not a big deal. But coming from Indiana, we're hoping before the season starts, which is mid-May, uh, when you know your ice is gone and you can have fishermen up there, that test requirement will be all the way gone. And I know so many people love taking these Canadian excursions. I mean, you can see some of the pictures behind us of the promise of what you get when you go up there. I know my fiance's dad has told me on and on and on about how amazing he's like, if you throw your hook in the water, you're going to catch a limit walleye, most likely, or something that would be limit down here. Tell us about some of that allure, you know, that you're going to go up there. It's just beautiful. And now, I mean, people have been itching to get outdoors and enjoy this again. The lure of Canada is that when you go up there and you're fishing on a lake, you're reeling in a nice fish. You don't have five other boats looking at you, honing in on your spot. You're the only one there. All you're hearing is the call of the loon. So you're not sitting there, you know, garden your spot because there's plenty of spots to have. Well, Todd will be here at the Champions Pavilion at the Indiana State Fairgrounds to give you guys any more information you might need if you're coming out here today or later next week when the fair is here. But, you know, we're going to be the only ones out on the water fishing in just a little bit. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'm Justin Kolar here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds, Fox 59 News. Looking Justin, forward to thanks it. Thanks for that live look. Yeah. Still ahead here, government officials and really folks from around the world have their eyes on Russia and Ukraine as tensions continue to rise. Russia claiming talks of an invasion continues as it moves forces closer to the border. We'll hear from Vice President Kamala Harris on the efforts at the White House. And police in Canada are clearing downtown Ottawa after several weeks of protesting there and a blockade. We're going to talk about how many arrests have been made so far and vehicles towed away from the area. More sunshine is expected for today and we are tracking spring-like weather as well. Find out how much temperatures are going to climb this afternoon and heading into the new work week coming up in your forecast. Get pumped, Indy. We're getting advice from our favorite Netflix coach. This week, cheer coach Monica talks to us about taking her team on the road, plus two chances for you to win tickets to see them live in Indy. And temperatures will take a tumble across central Indiana. I'll tell you which days you'll need your winter coat 
and if there's another warm up in my accurate forecast. Plus, with food prices on the rise, we'll learn the secrets to saving money at the grocery store this week on Fox 59 Morning News. Sunday, the President's Day sale, only at The Room Place. Take an extra 25% off your entire purchase. Plus, save with 0% financing for five years and no down payment. Enter to win a $10,000 home makeover. The President's Day sale, only at The Room Place. One day, Sunday. The new Doc Toy Hospital is now in exhibit at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Be magically transported to the place where toys get well and kids have fun. Assist Hallie in the operating room. Give toys a checkup in the emergency room. Visit Lammy in the nursery and take care of the babies. Help Stuffy in the pet vet where pets get washed, brushed, and x-rayed. Make them all better. You'll feel better too. Doc McStuffins, the exhibit. Nuestras etiquetas son bilingües. We buy any car. Did you know trading in your car at a dealer could cost you money? A recent study found consumers who trade in their car pay an average of $990 more. So don't trade in. Sell it to We Buy Any Car. Learn more and get your free online valuation now at WeBuyAnyCar.com. Find out how much your car's worth at WeBuyAnyCar. My asthma felt anything but normal. It was time for a new normal with Nucala. Nucala reduces asthma attacks. It's a once monthly add on treatment for severe eosinophilic asthma. Not for sudden breathing problems, allergic reactions can occur. Get help right away for swelling of face, mouth, tongue, or trouble breathing. Infections that can cause shingles have occurred. Don't stop steroids unless told by your doctor. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection. May cause headache, injection site reactions, back pain, and fatigue. Ask your asthma specialist about a new normal with Nucala. Only at the room place, save an extra $500 on Tempur Pedic mattress. Plus, get a $300 gift card in stock with free next day delivery. All with 0% financing for five years at just a dollar a day. The President's Day mattress sale at the room place. Welcome back. Your time is now 7 11, and it's a chilly morning around central Indiana. Starting off our Sunday in the 20s, it is 23 degrees in Indianapolis. And wind speeds, they're on the lighter side at this point. They are going to pick up in speed this afternoon and temperatures are going to warm up in a big way. We will have the latest on how much are how much highs are going to rise this afternoon and at the start of the work week. That's coming up in your forecast in a few minutes. And we do have some breaking news from overseas coming in at this hour. Buckingham Palace is reporting right now that Queen Elizabeth has tested positive for COVID-19. She's reportedly experiencing mild cold like symptoms. The palace says that the queen will continue with light duties. She received three shots of coronavirus vaccine. Both her eldest son, Prince Charles and daughter in law, Camilla, uh, have also recently contracted COVID-19 and the reports from overseas uh, within the last week or so are that they had met mm -hmm. uh, where Prince Charles and the queen had met in person uh, and then he tested positive. So uh, not to assume too much, but certainly this is all uh, being reported on right now. New information this morning also as police uh, procession is held after an officer is killed and another injured when their chopper crashed in California yesterday. Along with police, the community honored the fallen officer last night. Nicholas Vela was a 14 year veteran of the force who lost his life in the crash. The helicopter the Huntington Beach police officers were riding in crashed in the harbor of nearby Newport Beach. The National Transportation Safety Board and the Orange County Sheriff's Office will investigate what exactly happened here. And check this out, some terrifying moments for swimmers at Miami Beach yesterday. Have a look at this. The video captures as people are out there enjoying a day at the beach, a helicopter crashing right into the water near a group of people as they were swimming. We know that uh, two of the three passengers on the helicopter were rushed to a hospital in the area, and at last check, they were in stable condition. The third passenger was uninjured. Many swimmers, though, then jumped in. They rushed in to help get the people off that helicopter. People were trying to hold the helicopter up so the helicopter didn't sink so they could try to get the people out. Um, people on jet skis came up and were trying to help. There's a lot of people coming up to the beach to try to help. Now, right now, not clear what caused the helicopter to come down. National Transportation Safety Board is currently investigating. 
Vice President Kamala Harris is in Germany for consultations with NATO allies. She met with a German chancellor there after speaking at the Munich Security Conference yesterday. The visit comes as global tensions continue over a possible Russian invasion into Ukraine. Russia has deployed about 150,000 troops along its border with Ukraine. Also yesterday, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi speaking in Munich amid rising tensions. Both Harris and Pelosi made it clear that the U.S. and allies have been working on a diplomatic solution to keep Russia out of Ukraine. We have prepared together economic measures that will be swift, severe, and united. We want to remove all doubt in anyone's mind, including the president of Russia, uh, that the U.S. is here, uh, fully committed in a unified way to work with our European allies uh, in the interest of diplomacy. Russia has deployed, again, as we just reported, about 150,000 troops along its border. President Biden and other Western leaders continue to say that President Vladimir Putin has already made the decision. They believe he's already made the decision to invade. Yesterday, Canadian police clearing downtown Ottawa after weeks-long protests turned violent. Protesters have been clashing with police over a vaccine mandate impacting truckers working in the U.S. and Canada. They blocked entry points at the border. News Nation's Michael Schur has more. At least 100 arrested, vehicles towed, and then finally a line of trucks headed away from Ottawa, Canada after a police offensive there forced the end of the weeks-long protests sparked by truck drivers who blocked border crossings in Ontario and Manitoba and occupied the Canadian capital in protest of vaccination mandates. Gas, gas, gas! Frightening moments ensued when officers on horseback moved onto the scene seeming to trample two of the protesters. According to reports, both of those people got up and walked away. All the violence is you. The only damn violence is since you guys have arrived. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, under significant pressure in the crisis, invoked the Emergencies Act this past Monday, giving law enforcement the authority to declare the blockades illegal and facilitating the removals and arrests. But a number of sympathizers came out in support of what has been called the Freedom Convoy and they were loath to comply with police orders. We're protecting our heroes and everybody's a hero here, you know. Many of the protesters stood between police and the truckers in an attempt to block the tow trucks. We just stand for our country, man, for, for our freedom and for the people that stay home. We, we look what we're doing for you guys. Representing only a stark minority of Canada's truckers, their message grew political, targeting COVID-19 rules and challenging government restrictions. In the famously staid and civil country, the protests were marked by how peaceful they were, if also disruptive. For all of the chaos and scuffles, no protesters were reported injured, and just one police officer received minor injuries. We won't commit to any end time because the, the progress of it needs to be measured, needs to be methodical, needs to be safe and lawful, as we've indicated all the way through. That is how we've approached this protest since we've started. That is how we will approach it until it's completed. The government used emergency powers to put an end to the demonstration and freeze bank accounts containing donations made to any protesters involved. They also plan to reimburse businesses that suffered losses due to the blockades. Well, your time now is just about 718 on this Sunday morning. Let's talk about our weather, shall we? Let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yesterday that sunshine was so nice. Let's bring it back. Yeah, right? but we had the wind and the cold, you know. Yes. Today seems like an improvement, but we really need to be ready for, I mean, crazy changes uh, from day to day this coming week. That's right. More spring-like at the beginning of the week and then another blast of winter to wrap up the week. So let's dive into this forecast this morning where we have a mostly clear sky and it's a chilly start to our day. At this point, we have temperatures in the 20s and wind speeds are on the lighter side. They are out of the south southeast 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that is going to be a key factor in how much temperatures are going to rise today. 
We are in the 20s right now, but we are going to have highs in the lower 50s heading into the afternoon hours for several spots around central Indiana. We just have to get through the next few hours this morning with wind chills in the teens at this point. And looking at Live Guardian radar, we're not tracking any rain showers or snow showers in this case, and that's because of higher pressure that is just situated to our south and east. And now that it's east of us, wind flow is out of the south, and that's going to make temperatures be a much warmer for today compared to where we were at yesterday. Wind speeds are also going to pick up. We could have gusts up to 35 miles per hour this afternoon, staying breezy this evening and tonight, but the wind speeds are going to become much lighter heading into the overnight hours. Temperatures will quickly jump to for today, 44 degrees by the time we get to the lunch hour, and then our highs are going to be in the lower 50s. We'll have a high of 53 in in Indianapolis and winds will be out of the south southwest 15 to 25 miles per hour. Keep in mind this time of year we should be in the lower 40s. So it looks like temperatures are going to be unseasonably warm not only today but heading into the first part of our new work week. This evening we will fall back into the 40s dropping to 44 degrees by midnight 41 at 4 o'clock in the morning with our low at 40 thinking some spots will be in the upper 30s and lower 40s across central Indiana and check out this high for tomorrow 62 degrees looking much warmer and then we'll have a chance for rain arriving very late in the day. Here's the latest with the timing now with our Fox future cast looking dry for several hours for our Monday. There is going to be an isolated rain chance late in the afternoon. Don't want to rule out that possibility, but most of that rainfall is actually going to move in overnight. That's when we're going to have that coverage increase and even at times hearing rumbles of thunder with that widespread rainfall across the area well into our Tuesday as well. Rainfall amounts, they are going to be heavy in spots upwards to an inch going to be a possibility. Looks like the highest totals over south, southern Indiana and south central Indiana, which means we're going to have to watch the potential for flooding, monitoring that situation, especially with the snow melt and the rainfall we had at the end of last week. There is going to be another wintry mix Thursday and Friday. Chance for light snow, high 31 degrees, back into the lower 30s for next weekend. Zach. All right, up and down. Let's double and half our temperatures. Right. Coming up next, new technology to tell you about that's helping kids deal with a potentially deadly disorder. We'll see how the toy is changing lives for children with sickle cell disease. And the FDA approved a new app to help deliver insulin. Details on how it works, that's coming up after the break. Stay with us. What's so great about being a Kroger Boost member? Free delivery on the Kroger products you love and more rewards like double fuel points. Boost by Kroger Plus, a new level of membership starting as low as $59 a year. Learn more at Kroger.com. When I'm not racing at the track, I do like to take things a little bit slower. But even with my foot off the gas, I'm still driven to save lives. So if you're like me and you like hunting and fishing, you could do something to save lives too. Just say yes to being an organ donor when you get your hunting or fishing license online or when you renew your Indiana driver's license. Join the 4 million Hoosiers who have signed up to save lives. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Call 1-800-2-KELLER. Keller and Keller. Right now. Meet Kate. She has a lot to juggle. Family, work, it can lead to trying days and tired nights. But we know Kate, and at Indiana Members Credit Union, we know at some point, her space at a premium life may change. IMCU is here to help Kate and you find your space. Now, add on a remodel with an introductory rate of 1.9% APR on a home equity line of credit. Today, it's all about Kate. Tomorrow, it's all about you. Because at IMCU, it's you that matters. 
We're back. Find your outdoor adventure at the Ford 67th Annual Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show. February 18 to the 20th and the 23rd to the 27th at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Save money and buy tickets online at IndieSportsShow.com. Another Renfro production. Crew Car Wash is now hiring and awarded Best Places to Work by Glassdoor. Starting up to $16 an hour plus incentive pay, come join our award-winning team. To learn more, visit CrewCarWash.com. At Kroger, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Kroger, fresh for everyone. 724 right now. Welcome back. A new tech toy is helping children navigate their sickle cell journey by calming, entertaining, and helping to manage their fear of uncontrolled pain. That's right. Fox News national correspondent William Lodgness has more from Los Angeles. Sickle cell disease is a painful and often deadly blood disorder that affects millions around the world. Here in the U.S., one out of every 365 African Americans are born with it. But a new high-tech solution to help comfort those kids could be a game changer. There wasn't a lot being done in the, in the more the social emotional space. And so we feel like this duck is the real difference maker. Aflac is best known as the insurance company with the big fluffy duck, but it also sponsors America's largest sickle cell program. And now it's developed a tech toy specifically designed to help kids live with the symptoms. It's called My Special Aflac Duck, an interactive friend that reminds children with sickle cell to hydrate constantly. It also has an IV port for medications, a customizable blanket, and a set of emotion buttons that help kids tell doctors and nurses how they're feeling. So far, reaction overwhelmingly positive, with some families saying the focus on sickle cell treatment is long overdue. One of the mothers of one of the families that we interviewed, she definitely used those words that she felt seen and she felt appreciative. There's also a virtual component that offers activities designed to distract kids during treatment or in a pain crisis. It's now being distributed free. And if all goes well, we'll see more toys like this one in the near future. Our future plans are to continue to expand our reach in the area of creating awareness, education and funding for sickle cell. With blood donations down since the start of the pandemic, the American Red Cross is now holding a number of sickle cell focused blood drives to encourage more African Americans to donate. In Los Angeles, William Lajeunesse, Fox News. And the FDA has cleared the first smartphone app for delivering insulin. Tandem Diabetes Care says the app includes uh, displays of the last 24 hours of pump status changes, glucose trends, and insulin therapy data. The company also promises the connection will be secure. The app will be available for Android and iPhone users. February is Cancer Prevention Month, and happening today, the Karuna Precision Wellness Center and the Indianapolis Healthplex are coming together to help support current patients, survivors, and their families. They're hosting a health fair blood drive today. It's from noon to 4 p.m. on the main floor of the Indianapolis Healthplex. You can come by, learn more about cancer-related services, and they're asking anyone who can to donate blood as the need has never been higher. They're also collecting donations for the annual Relay for Life fundraiser. Coming up next here, Hoosiers are getting to explore a deeper level of black history this weekend. Still ahead, we'll share how local businesses got involved to help everyone learn and understand each other. Plus. Hey, I don't know who got a... Uh ever had a harder assignment than me. We're catching fish out here this morning right out of the barrel. I'm Justin Kolar at the Indianapolis Fit Boat Sport and Outdoor Show here and coming up we're going to talk with a bass fishing professional on how you can get out here and get some nice fish like this yourself. Got one too. That's awesome. I'm tracking mild temperatures today and early into the work week. Find out how much warmer it's going to be coming up in the days ahead and when rain chances are going to return to central Indiana. Unjunk your sleep during Mattress Firm's President's Day sale. Get a king for a queen or a queen for a twin and save up to $500 on top selling brands. Plus get a free adjustable base with qualifying Sealy purchase only at Mattress Firm. 
No matter what's going on outside, you want to be warm and cozy on the inside, especially this winter. We're USA Insulation, and we fix cold homes. When you have poor insulation, it doesn't matter how much you crank up your furnace. Your expensive warm air still leaks out of your walls and attic. When we inject our premium foam into your walls, it's like putting a coat around your entire home. And just wait until you see how much money you're going to save. It's time to stop freezing and start saving. USA Insulation. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. We are professional grade GMC. aren't worth putting off like your car insurance good thing we're here to remind you only at metro by t-mobile you can upgrade to 5g and get more more choices with the largest selection of free 5g phones like the samsung galaxy a13 5g more 5g coverage on the t-mobile network and more savings from the most affordable unlimited plans with 5g included Get more free 5G phones, more 5G coverage, and more savings. Only at Metro. When we're really dissecting an incoming storm, we turn to the brain. I use this to compare notes with our latest weather technology. You can't get accuracy like this anywhere else. Unjunk your sleep at Mattress Firm's President's Day Sale. Save up to $500 on adjustable Tempur-Pedic mattress sets. Plus, get a $300 instant gift good toward sleep accessories. In stock for immediate delivery, only at Mattress Firm. Welcome back. It's just after 7.30 on this beautiful start to a Sunday morning. Take a look at the sunrise outside right now. I mean, if that doesn't get you excited for today, I don't know what will. Good morning to you. I'm Melissa Crash. And I'm Zach Myers. Yeah, we're waiting for also the, the changes that are to come uh, in the week ahead. You get, just be ready for a bumpy ride. <laughs> exactly, yes. But, I mean, at least we'll have some nice days till we get there, right? Yes, we will, yeah. including today. We're going to have big improvements in the forecast. Lots of sunshine once again, but it is going to turn much warmer. Wind speeds are also going to pick up too, heading into the afternoon. At this point, we're not picking up much activity on Live Guardian radar. We have higher pressure over the Ohio Valley, and that's going to keep things dry for us today. And with winds out of the south southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour, that's going to drive temperatures up in a big way for today. At this point, we're in the mid 20s around central Indiana. Plus, we still have wind chills in the teens, but it is going to turn much warmer this afternoon. We're talking about 40s by midday, and then we'll have highs in the lower 50s right around 4 o'clock this afternoon. And it's only going to turn warmer starting into the new work week. We'll have the latest on how much highs are going to rise. And we'll talk about our next round of rainfall, when it's going to push into central Indiana, the timing for that and potential rainfall amounts all coming up in your forecast. Amber, thanks. Happening today, the community will come together to honor a state police sergeant and her daughter who died in a house fire in Monticello. State Police Sergeant Stephanie Thompson and her 17-year-old daughter Maya died in that fire in White County Thursday morning. Thompson was a 23-year veteran with State Police and Maya was known as a strong swimmer for her high school. A candlelight vigil will be held for them at 6 o'clock tonight and that's going to be at the school, Twin Lakes High School in the teacher parking lot in Monticello. Fox 59 continues to celebrate Black History Month. Hoosiers get the chance to explore it on a deeper level this weekend. That's with the Black History Month immersion event. Art, poetry, performances were on display at the Global Village Welcome Center off Lafayette Road. Guests could also shop with black owned businesses. Organizers say it allows anyone from any culture to learn and understand each other. 
America has so many people that are rich in culture, right? But I think people need to know and, and appreciate that black history is part of the American fabric. And so we have done so much for this country and what better way to show it than to have people come and tell the stories of our ancestors. Admission to the Global Village Welcome Center is free. The artwork, artwork will be on display until March 14th. Well, if you need plans today, how about checking out the Indianapolis Boat, Sport and Travel Show? Yeah, the show, of course, was canceled last year like many were, but the celebration continues. It's back big time out at the state fairgrounds. And, you know, from time to time here on Fox 59, you can watch Bassmasters <laughs> on our air. Yes, you can. You don't need to wait for them because exactly. Justin is our own Bassmaster out there at the fairgrounds right now. Justin. Hey, good morning, guys. I don't know about Bassmaster, but when I lived in Michigan, I did win the rank of Master Angler a time or two, but that's a story for a different day. Here, take a look at this shot here. Up here on, it looks like a semi. Some, it's like shooting a professional bass fisherman, Mike Del Visco. Mike, I, I think you've got the best job, arguably, in the world. How does someone become a professional bass fisherman? It's actually a pretty fun job. And, and by the way, it's the only job I've had for 40 years now. Uh, before that, I went to high school. And, uh, you know, it just kind of happened. You know, 40 years ago, nobody expected anybody to be a professional bass fisherman. But here I am here at the 67th annual Indianapolis Boat Sport Travel Show. I, I think I've been here 30 of those 40 years doing seminars for people and looking forward to doing some today. So tell us a little bit about what people will see. And one of those fish just got my bait, dang it. But tell us what people will see other than you catching some monster bass up here. Yeah, so, uh, you know, there's a ton of seminars going on all throughout the day. Uh, there's also a bunch of kayak demos, but I'm going to be doing some finesse fishing, which is the bait that you had on up there. Uh, and that is something here in Indiana that, you know, a lot of people can do this time of year to go catch some fish as soon as it warms up just a little bit. And uh, something that everybody needs in their arsenal when they're bass fishing. Hey, ah, sir, nice thank one. you so much. Yeah, you know what? That is what we call ingenuity right here. I caught him with no worm, just this little black ring right here. Beautiful little sunfish, Jules, if we can get a close-up on that while I tag out here, guys. This is definitely a very fun event that you can bring your family. Come check this out here. We are at the Indiana State Fairgrounds this morning. I'm Justin Kohler. We'll have another look inside a kayak coming up in just a little bit. Fox 59 Morning News. Hey, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. <laughs> I think it's catch and release out there at the, the oh, yeah. right now. Oh, yeah, I think so. Hey, and don't you know that NASCAR season is back, and we are just hours away now from the Daytona 500 right here on Fox 59. Kyle Larson will lead the field to the green flag. Country music star Trace Atkins will sing the national anthem before the drop of the green flag at 2.30 this afternoon. Football Hall of Famer Charles Woodson has been named the grand marshal for the race. About 100,000 fans are expected. It is a sold out event. Again, the Daytona 500 you can watch right here on Fox 59 this afternoon. I'm not even a race fan, but I'm excited. The I event. don't know why, just the event, I can't, I'm gonna watch it. Just like the, the 500 here. Yeah. I mean, folks who aren't even race fans just want to see uh, the event. And so it's, it's fun to so watch, cool. yes. Still ahead here in sports, uh, the city gearing up for IndyCar opener next weekend. Our Dave Griffiths has a breakdown for you race fans out there as drivers make their final preparations. And the state championships for wrestling happening this weekend at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. We've got a look at the highlights and those state champions next. And it may be a chilly start to the day, but I'm tracking much warmer weather for the start of the work week. I'll let you know how long the spring like feel is going to linger in your forecast. Window Nation is announcing our virtual home show extravaganza with pricing that only happens once a year for a limited time. Hurry, the home show pricing is only available for a few weeks. Get two free windows for every two you buy, plus no payments for two years. Keep your vehicle protected this winter with WeatherTech. Laser measured floor liners protect the carpet, 
Seat protectors to keep seats safe from spills and messes. And cup phone keeps your phone secure while allowing easy access while charging. WeatherTech's got your vehicle covered all season long. Order your American-made products at weathertech.com. It's time for the ultimate sleep number event on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. What if I sleep hot? Or cold? No problem. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed is temperature balancing, so you both sleep just right. And it senses your movements and automatically adjusts to keep you both effortlessly comfortable. So you can really promise better sleep? Yes. You'll know exactly how well you slept night after night. We take care of the science. All you have to do is sleep. And now save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus 0% interest for 36 months and free premium delivery when you add a base. Ends Monday. Maybe we could have found a more productive way to get people to come to work than, you know. Should have just gone with Easy Cater. Food from over 80,000 restaurants on time and professionally delivered. Gary, aren't you supposed to be leading orientation? Uh... Oh, this is Cindy, our new CFO. Hey, nice to meet you. Hello. Hey. You want to go again? Yeah. How do you make the office fun and productive? How? Easy Cater. At Batteries Plus, we power family road trips. We power bedtime stories. We power our local hospitals. We power connections with friends. We do more than replace batteries and fix phones and tablets. We help our neighbors power their lives. How powerful is that? Visit Batteries Plus for free auto battery testing and installation. Get powered in-store, curbside, and at BatteriesPlus.com. This winter, Comcast Business is helping Team USA and businesses across America stay ahead. Keep yours ahead, too, with reliable connectivity and secure solutions on the network that can deliver gig speeds to the most businesses. And get access to over 20 million Wi-Fi hotspots from coast to coast. So no matter what big event comes up, your team can be ready for what's next. Get started with Internet and Voice for $35 each a month when you buy both. Plus, ask how to get free installation and one month free. Window Nation is announcing our virtual home show extravaganza with pricing that only happens once a year for a limited time. Hurry, the home show pricing is only available for a few weeks. Get two free windows for every two you buy, plus no payments for two years. Good morning, this is Sports, I'm Dave Griffiths. Four classes, four teams still battling for a state championship in each of them entering yesterday, but we couldn't keep them all. Girls basketball semi-states took over Indiana gyms yesterday afternoon and evening. We're going to start in Class 4A out in Jasper. Second ranked Franklin facing Mid-State Conference rivals Mooresville. Second quarter action, Scarlett Kimbrell. Her third three of the half. 11 points for her in that first half. And the Grizzly Cubs of Franklin led by 10 at the break. But the pioneers of Mooresville rally. Abigail Young connecting from deep, cutting it to a two-point ball game. Franklin, though, with a response in the fourth quarter. Ashlyn Trailer driving strong, bucket off the glass plus the foul. She led everyone with 21 points on the day. The Pioneers not going away, though. Rachel Harshman, her three cuts it to a three-point game with a minute to play. Later, Grizzly Cubs turn it over. Mooresville one more chance, but don't get a good look at it. Not quite. Franklin wins 49-46. to Who's going to be up next for him? More 4A action. In the port, Noblesville and Crown Point, Miller Nation traveling well. Tied late in the first quarter, Noblesville pokes it away, gets the steal. Ashlyn Shade scooping it up and taking it all the way by herself. Easy layup off the glass, beats the buzzer, makes it 16-14 after one. Second quarter, Noblesville blows it wide open with some clutch shooting. First, Caitlin Shoemaker pops the three, knocks it down. Quite a few players hitting from beyond the arc in this second quarter. Ashlyn Shade, one of them. The UConn commit, let me just say, if you were there last night, you understood why UConn's interested in her. Great passing from Noblesville in this game. Ava Shoemaker gets it in the opposite corner, drains the triple, 62-41. Noblesville moves on. We'll go to two-A ball. University has been knocking on the door recently. The Blazers are back in semi-state for a third time in the last four years, but they haven't made it to the championship since 2008. Well, the 14-year drought, does it end this year? Blazers taking on Forest Park in Jasper. A few shots falling for University early, but this Peyton Say three-pointer does. University trailing big at halftime. The Rangers stretch their lead in the second half now. University trying to get going. Say another two-pointer. That's off the fast break. Then 
Jordan Patterson in the corner, knocking down the three off the inbounds play. University hitting shots there on the run here again. Patty Chikamba, the rebound, puts it back in and she's fouled. She had 12 points. Blazers cut the deficit to just seven, but Forest Park had another run. Amber Treader beating the third quarter horn with that shot. Let all scores with 17 did Amber Forest Park wins 53-44. Frankton played for the 2A title two years ago. They're trying to get back to the field house. Fairfield in their way. First quarter, Emma Sperry with the ball. A little fadeaway jumper action for Frankton. Those are the first points. Didn't happen through uh, the first half of the first quarter. Moving on now to the second quarter. That's Bria Gardner from beyond the arc. Fairfield leads 8-7. to seven. Now time winding down in the first half. Sperry picks up the loose ball and goes straight to the hoop. Aggressive take. Frankton leads 18-13 at halftime. We'll skip to the fourth. Things getting intense. Frankton down by two, but Bailey Webb gives her team the lead with that triple. 11 seconds to go now. Fairfield gets one more chance, but the Eagles' defense is swarming. Fairfield can hardly get a shot off. Fifth, uh, 35, rather, 34. Frankton wins and moves on. Indiana Wrestling State Championships decided last night at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. We'll start with the small weight class. 106 pounds, Jake Hockaday of Brownsburg is a state champion. After a 4-3 decision, he becomes the first Bulldog freshman to ever win states. The team finishes second. 120 pounds, Warren Central's Kyrell Level. A 9-5 decision for the state title. The first state title for Warren in quite some time. 132 pounds, Cathedral Zeke Seltzer finishes his career with a third state championship. Was in the championship match all four of his years in his career. Heck of a career for the young man. The team champions were crown point, their crowning moment, 138 pounds. Jesse Mendez coming away with the pin here. He becomes the 10th four-time state champion in Indiana history, one of the best to ever hit the mat in the Hoosier State. The long IndyCar season is coming to an end as the open wheelers make their final preparations before the grind begins next weekend. Navigating the changes from year to year, team to team, race to race, whoever manages those changes best will have a good shot to lift the Astro Cup at year's end. The cars are, you know, changing every year with additions. The tires always shift a little bit. You know, the dynamics within the paddock change. We've got new drivers. We've got, you know, new team personnel. There's a lot of people that move around. So it's just a never-ending game of trying to keep up. And, you know, for us, we, we want to get to a point where we're not just keeping up, but, you know, we're leading the pack. Uh, if we're leading the pack, then we're doing things right. And in the stock cars, the countdown is complete. Zero days remaining until the 64th running of the Daytona 500. That means it's today, 1 o'clock, right here on Fox 59. That is sports for this Sunday morning. Go out and make it a great day. Good morning. It is now 746, and we're starting off the day with mostly clear skies and chilly temperatures for now, but they are going to improve as the day goes on. At this point, we have wind streaming in out of the south, and that's going to help temperatures to rise quickly throughout the day, and it is going to be considerably warmer compared to yesterday. Right now, we're at 23 degrees. We have that mostly clear sky, and winds are on the lighter side this morning, 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the south-southeast. 27 Shelbyville, it is 25 in Lafayette, with wind chills now in the teens across the board with that light wind speed, again, out of the south-southeast. Right now, we have a mostly clear sky. There were a few passing clouds over the area last night, but higher pressure it's still in control, which means we're going to stay dry today. Another day filled with sunshine. And now that it is situated east of us, we are going to have winds out of the south, and that's going to help temperatures to rise in a big way for the afternoon. Wind speeds will pick up. We could even have gusts up to 35 miles per hour by the late afternoon hours before becoming lighter this evening and tonight. 53 degrees, our high temperature this afternoon. It will be a great day to head outdoors. Just keep in mind, it is going to turn breezy during the second half of the day. Highs are going to be in the lower 50s across the state. Some upper 40s going to be possible over north central Indiana later on this afternoon. Will be a great evening. If you have any plans to be out and about looking dry, it'll stay breezy, but wind speeds, they are going to become lighter as temperatures fall near 46 degrees, 8 o'clock tonight, and then 45 by 10 p.m. with our low temperature, 40 in Indianapolis. Lows tonight are going to be in the upper 30s and lower 40s, making for a cool start to the day tomorrow. And then it's going to turn milder 
for our Monday. 62 degrees is going to be the high temperature. Lots of dry time to enjoy before rain chances ramp up by the evening hours. So we'll break down that timeline for you with our Fox Futurecast. You can see those shower chances very isolated by the late afternoon hours. The coverage is going to increase tonight or rather Monday night into Tuesday and then we will have heavier downpours setting up for Tuesday. Even at times a few rumbles of thunder before a cold front sweeps over the state and then temperatures are going to drop once again. Rainfall amounts up to an inch going to be possible. Could even have some isolated higher totals over southern Indiana with this system by the time we get to Tuesday night. Wednesday is looking drier, but it is going to be much colder with our high of 33 degrees. Another system we're going to have to closely watch that'll bring us potentially messy weather at the end of the week. Thursday and Friday, a chance for rain and snow, and then temperatures are also going to drop even more. We'll be at 31 degrees Friday, high of only 32 next Saturday with a partly cloudy sky. Mm. All right. Mm. I know a lot of people are probably planning some outdoor activities for the next couple of days before the winter weather comes yes. back. But they're like, you know, let's just get outside, get out of the house. Next couple of days, even tomorrow, we're going to have a lot of dry time before the rainfall arrives. So I know I want to open up the windows. Yeah, Absolutely. A little fresh air. Sure. Yes. It's, it's like we've got uh, a week of spring. And then next weekend, let's get back to winter. Yep. Something yep. like that. And Fake potholes. Spring. I know we've been talking about it a lot <clears throat> recently, yeah. but they're already out there. And yeah. with this weather that's coming There's our way, be more. there will be more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be sure to report them. That's the way they, you know, the city kind of finds out about them too. So if you mm -hmm. see a lot, you know, instead of just complaining about them like we all do, I was just going to say them. that. Yes. <laughs> it's like, don't complain. Yeah. Just, just report, report it. Them. Just talking about it really doesn't do anything. You got to get on yep. to it. We also do have an update on a story we brought you yesterday here on Fox 59 Morning News. A group of American figure skaters have lost their appeal trying to receive their silver medals before the closing ceremonies at the Winter Olympics. Panel of judges denied a last minute request from the team after they came in second place. The results have been in doubt for about two weeks. That's since a 15 year old skater from Russia tested positive for a banned substance. No further reasoning for the ruling was provided though. More information on the decision is expected in the coming days. And we're going to take a look at the leaderboard this morning. Some updates over the last hour. Norway still leads now with 16 gold medals and 37 overall. Germany next with 12 gold medals. China in third with nine gold medals. Team USA and the Swedish make up top five with eight gold medals each. So there you go. And this is the last weekend for the yeah. Olympics. The closing ceremony soon. Yes. Up next, a family reunites with their dog after two years. Little rascal oh. took quite the journey too. We're going to hear from the family on the moment they received that call that he'd been found. Hey, and speaking of furry friends, Indianapolis Animal Care Services still needs your help with pet adoptions. Details on when you can adopt that's next. may look like a classic rooftop chase scene. But it's an Esau sales event ad. Hurry in and save up to 4262 on select models. The action never ends, but these offers will. No matter what's going on outside, you want to be warm and cozy on the inside, especially this winter. We're USA Insulation, and we fix cold homes. When you have poor insulation, it doesn't matter how much you crank up your furnace. Your expensive warm air still leaks out of your walls and attic. When we inject our premium foam into your walls, it's like putting a coat around your entire home. And just wait until you see how much money you're going to save. It's time to stop freezing and start saving. USA Insulation. I've made progress with my mental health. So when I started having unintentional body movements called tardive dyskinesia, I ignored them. 
But when the twitching and jerking in my face and hands affected my day to day, I finally had to say, it's not okay. It was time to talk to my doctor about Osteto. She said Osteto helps reduce TD movements in adults while I continue with most of my mental health medications. Osteto can cause depression, suicidal thoughts or actions in patients with Huntington's disease. Pay close attention to and call your doctor if you become depressed, have sudden changes in mood, behaviors, feelings, or have suicidal thoughts. Common side effects include inflammation of the nose and throat, insomnia, and sleepiness. Don't take Osteto if you have liver problems, are taking rezerpine, tetrabenazine, or valbenazine. Osteto may cause irregular or fast heartbeat, restlessness, movements mimicking Parkinson's disease, fever, stiff muscles, problems thinking, and sweating. Talk to your doctor about Osteto. It's time to treat TD. TD is not okay. Visit askforostetto.com. I know this may look like a classic rooftop chasing, but it's an Esau sales event ad. Hurry in and save up to 4262 on select models. The action never ends, but these offers will. Your time now is 7.54. It's National Love Your Pet Day, and here's a heartwarming story to start on this Sunday morning. One family is eternally grateful after a two-year search ended to find their missing dog. Rascal unfortunately went missing early 2020, and his owner spent days searching for him. They put up signs, went to several dog groomers and vets but had no luck in finding little rascal there. Then a phone call came earlier this week from Animal Services saying someone had found rascal and he's ready to come home. Now we just want to be able to enjoy him. Um, he is healthy otherwise. The, the vet uh, gave us some good news. Um, he just has a little bit of old age with some cataracts and arthritis, but we just want to be able to enjoy him and have our kids be able to enjoy however many more years we get to have with him. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. Rascal's owner is just grateful for the family and the officers who found and returned him. Time will now be spent getting to know Rascal once again. Here at home, Indianapolis Animal Care Services says it's still in a state of emergency right now with staffing shortages and limited space. 43 animals found forever homes yesterday after a big adoption event. However, there are still animals in need of a home and the shelter is only accepting animals in emergency situations right now because they're so full. So if you find a lost pet, they do ask you to try to find its owner first before taking it to a shelter. We have every available space that we have with temporary crates set up. So they are lining the hallways, they are lining some of our larger rooms that have some floor space, and we have dogs in every available kennel and also in every available office as well. So we've got, we have dogs everywhere. Now, all adoptions are free right now for dogs and cats. The shelter opens today from 10 to 5.30 and every day next week except Monday. And our latest round of Indy's Best, we want to know what you think is Indy's Best Bowling Alley. Does it have the best lanes, the best food, mm -hmm. great theme nights? Well, go to fox59.com slash Indy's Best to nominate your favorite bowling alley. You've got until Tuesday morning. There's lots of good ones around the city, so looking forward to that. I always feel like probably the one I got my best score at. Mm -hmm. because I remember it. You remember it. As a victory. Uh -huh. I remember just all the birthday parties I would have as a kid. Oh, yeah. All the bowling alleys. That's so much fun. fun. Very cool. We've got a lot more coming up in the next hour of news. And Zach, as we've been seeing all morning long, Justin, he is <laughs> just up to some shenanigans. He has a full itinerary of events for us at the fairgrounds. What? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Look at him. Get some paddle boat action <laughs> going on out there. We're That's heading wild. out. We're heading out to the Indie Boat Sport and Travel Show. Hopefully we can catch up with him when we get out there. Oh, there he is. That's awesome. He looks yeah. like he's having such a great time. I'm tracking pleasant weather today and a big warm up in the days ahead. Find out how much highs are going to rise in the forecast. I was seriously injured off work for a year denied by insurance seriously injured it happens hire hensley 888 hensley at americaneagle.com we've created some of the most complex yet efficient websites that's because of an unfair advantage siraj our speed guy he took on a rescue mission for a major retailer's e-commerce site and found over a hundred ways to shave load time in fact just now he saved another 
80 milliseconds. For web development, digital marketing, strategy, and more, talk to AmericanEagle.com. Don't just grow, soar. The garage door is the most underrated moving mechanism on every house. People don't do a lot of preventative maintenance, so when it gets cold, their stuff breaks. It's just part of winter. Things just don't like to work as well in the winter. Everything's always about the customer. You can expect the same kind of service regardless of who shows up from Precision. We never know where our next call is, so it doesn't matter what it takes to get it fixed. We've got the parts on the truck, and our goal is to fix it that day. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. Meet new friends or reconnect with some old ones and find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Step into the new with a new Chevy. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy vehicles. Plus, on select models, current Chevy owners get an additional $750 bonus cash. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in central Indiana. As our parents get older, they can stay more active with the right care. Yeah. Oh, did you have four of those? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Find care for your mom and dad at care.com. True Car Wash's new ceramic fast wax offers better protection and even more shine. Sign up for the Ultimate Unlimited Washes to wash as much as you want and keep your vehicle shining. At Trilogy, we do things that set us apart. You are considered our family from the moment you walk through our doors. I think of all the fun stuff and I just do what I can to make it happen for the rest of us. I'm going to treat your grandma and your grandpa like they were my grandma and grandpa. You belong at Trilogy. I take that route every day. Never in a million years. It wasn't my fault. Seriously injured? It happens. Hire Hensley. 888 Hensley. You're watching Fox 59, Indy's home for the Daytona 500. Good morning, and we're starting off our Sunday with chilly temperatures, but at least we're seeing lots of sunshine out the door this morning. And we will have more sunny skies for today, and even warmer temperatures are on the way. Find out how much tides are going to rise in your forecast. Police are asking for help finding a vehicle involved in a deadly hit and run this weekend. They believe the driver hit a man and left him to die on the side of the road. Details on what they're looking for. A vigil being held today for a state police sergeant and her daughter. Coming up, how the community will remember and honor them. Hey, good morning, guys. We're here at the Ford Indianapolis Boat, Sport, and Travel Show. I'm standing on a kayak, living life on the edge a little bit. And coming up, we're going to do a live interview in this kayak pond. You don't want to miss it. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. Just toss the mic to dry land if you're going down. Real quick. If you're falling, <laughs> just throw it up. You don't want to have to buy that thing. No. Hey, thanks for being with us here on Fox 59 Morning News. Coming up on 802 uh, right now, look at the daylight, the, uh, the sunshine. Beautiful. We're getting downtown, very nice. So looking forward to that. Yeah. Also looking forward to several changes on the way on this roller coaster that we're all going to no be joke. riding. Like those <laughs> waves that we're hoping don't hit yeah. Justin so we can stay balanced while he's on that kayak. It's going to be this week. <laughs> oh, yes. man. That was, that's I, impressive. For I know. one, I would totally I was nervous. nervous. <laughs> I was a little nervous, too. Live I, TV. I will say I am excited about today's weather. Oh, oh, me such too. an improvement. I think everyone's going to be in a good mood for today. Right. We're going to have a lot of sunshine, and we're even seeing that this morning, mostly clear skies, and we're not picking up much activity on Live Guardian radar either. And that's because of higher pressure located southeast of us. It's looking quiet across the region, too, and we should stay dry today and even tracking a lot of dry time heading into tomorrow. 28 is the temperature right now. It's 25 now in Indianapolis, 24 degrees in Bloomington, and still picking up wind chills in the teens at this point. But you can see with the surface wind flow map with that higher pressure to the east of us, winds are now out of the south and that is going to help temperatures to quickly rise today. We should be in the 40s by the late morning hours and then peak into the lower 50s this afternoon. 
That is well above average for this time of year. Typically, we should be in the lower 40s for the Indianapolis area once we uh, for the 20th of this month. Right now, we are going to have warmer weather today and even tracking a warming trend heading into the new work week. We'll have the latest on how much highs are going to climb, and we'll also talk about the timing for our next round of rainfall. Those details coming up in the forecast. All right, Amber, thank you. Now to a Fox 59 crime tracker alert. Police arrested two juveniles after a chase that ended in a crash last night. That crash we know happened on the near north side near 22nd in college. It's not clear exactly what started the pursuit. IMPD says again it ended here when the driver ran into this light pole. Now police say the car was stolen and officers also found a gun, an illegally possessed gun in the car. Both juveniles were taken into custody. New information this morning. Police are asking for your help to find the person who hit and killed a man early yesterday morning and then took off. It happened on the south side near the intersection of East Troy Avenue and Beach Street. This surveillance video shows the man walking down East Troy Avenue just before 3.30. As he approaches the Beach Street intersection, what is believed to be a gray Honda Odyssey comes up from behind and hits him. Police say the man was pronounced dead there on the scene. Police say the van is likely damaged on the front passenger side. A woman who lives nearby told us she hopes that whoever was driving will do the right thing and turn themselves in. I hope they come forward. I hope that they feel so guilty. I hope they feel like they can't sleep at night. They can't eat. You know, they need to come forward and and say, I'm sorry I did this. Police are asking anyone who has information to give them a call or call Crime Stoppers that number 317-262-TIPS. IMPD is also investigating a deadly crash on the northwest side near 56th and Kessler. Three cars were involved in this crash around 7 o'clock last night, which left one person dead. Three other people were hospitalized and expected to survive. The cause of the crash is under investigation. A woman's facing charges after a five-year-old boy from Shelbyville was found alone wandering a street in Ohio. Someone driving through an area in Coleraine Township spotted the boy and called police. Now, police believe someone drove him there, left him before he was found an hour later. Detectives have signed warrants for his mother, Heather Atkins, and are searching for her this morning. This investigation is ongoing. Anyone with information should call Coleraine Police. That number is right there on your screen. And happening later today, the community will gather to honor a state police sergeant and her daughter who died in a house fire in Monticello. State Police Sergeant uh, uh, Stephanie Thompson and her 17-year-old daughter, Maya, died in that fire in White County Thursday morning. Thompson was a 23-year-old, uh, three-year veteran with State Police. Maya was known as a strong swimmer for her high school. A candlelight vigil will be held for them at 6 o'clock tonight at the school at Twin Lakes High School teacher parking lot in Monticello. Young Hoosiers around Indianapolis got the chance to share their concerns with those working to keep them safe. True Colors hosted a true dialogue. Several teens spoke about things like their education, bullying, violence, and people like Indianapolis Police Chief Randall Taylor was there to listen. Violence is never the answer. So stop. So put the guns down, put the knives down, put the fists down, talk. People got to stop being the bystander and they got to be the upstander and help people. We're committed to you, uh, to the youth of this, uh, this city. Anything that we can do to help uh, them get through this and get the help that they need, especially on the, the mental health aspect, uh, we're there and, and, and really for that. But uh, really, really, really impressed with, uh, with this group. For all you young folks, please uh, keep your drive going. Don't let anything get in your way. Well, the goal of the panel this weekend was to create better relationships between our youth and our city leaders. Teens led and moderated that panel. 
Well, of course, we're still in winter, still cold outside, but you can get a taste of the great outdoors and make plans for spring, too, at the Indianapolis Boat, Sport and Travel Show. Of course, it was canceled last year, like many, because of COVID, but it's back in a big way at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Back and better than ever, and that's where we find Fox 59's Justin Kolar this morning with an inside look at all the fun that you and your family can take part in. Justin, what are you up to now? Hey, good morning, guys. We are out here on this like pop up pool type thing, but we're in kayaks and I've never seen kayaks that are pedal powered. So that is really cool. Save the arms a little bit of work here. We're talking a lot about getting excited for the outdoor season again. I'm joined by Chad Hoover. He's the founder of Kayak Bass Fishing. Now, I just went fishing out of the back of a semi trailer in this building. There's right no fish there. in here. Yeah, right over there. But you can fish in a kayak. You can fish off the shore. Tell me a little bit about this idea to fish out of a kayak here. Well, the great thing about kayaks are is there's lower barrier to entry than there is to get into, you know, your bigger, more expensive boats. You can get into places that you can't get into in a boat, literally on the same body of water, but then there's certain places you can't put a gas-powered boat, a combustion engine. So a lot of kayaks nowadays are outfitted with electric motors, so that also makes it more accessible for the folks that don't even want to paddle in, like you mentioned, uh, there's pedal drive options. So whether you want to paddle, whether you want to pedal, or you want to throw some power on the back of it, there's pretty much everything from a couple of hundred dollars all the way up to several thousand dollars. The sport's growing like wildfire right now. I've been one of the guys that's been around doing it for almost 30 years, and so it's funny when people say, oh, it's just blowing up. It is. In the last seven years, it's become popular. I think it's going to keep doing that, and the show here is indicative of that. Uh, when I started coming to this show five years ago, we had a little corner over there with a tiny, no pool. Then we had a tiny pool. Now we have basically half of the convention hall here with a giant demo pool. You can come out here and try these kayaks before you buy them. And uh, where else can you do that in Indiana right now where all the rest of the water is hard? And I was going to say, this pool is a lot bigger than my apartment is. Well, so that's, that's pretty <laughs> cool, too. And the thing I was noticing as well, some of these places where the championships are, I mean, you don't even have to be a fisherman to enjoy getting out on the water and doing no. something so close absolutely man the, the the foundation of paddle sports in the u.s uh started when the when the native americans started using them for fishing but then for probably a century these were primarily for recreation just getting right. out and paddling and having fun then fishermen finally recognized the viability of these as a fishing platform but because fishing's gotten so popular it's made more recreational boats lower price if you're just looking to get out and spend right. a day paddling Check out these folks here at Moving Waters. They have an unbelievable set selection. One of the biggest kayak shops in the in a heartland for sure, definitely in the state of Indiana, and actually one of the best service shops in the country. So you guys are fortunate to have them right here in the Indianapolis area. Well, hey, Chad, let's take a little paddle up to the camera and tag out once here. I'm Justin Kolar reporting live from the Indianapolis Boat, Sport, and Travel Show this morning. Fox 59 News. Oh, uh, we want to get a wide view there of how big that pool is for you, Justin. <laughs> yeah, how zoom out a little that? bit if you can, Jules. Yeah, let's see how big that thing That's Can that's we see? Big. Yeah, look at this thing here. And so this you... is at the fairgrounds. Like, how cool is this for you and your family to go do yeah. this today? How neat. So cool. So you do still have the paddle option or the the foot pedal right. options there. Lots awesome. of fun. Yeah, check this out here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, at least you didn't want to drive in. off the. Oh. Yeah, don't go too far. Uh oh, don't, don't, don't go. Stunt <laughs> kayaking. Very cool. Bumper kayak. Justin, thank you very much. All right. All right, we've got a lot more to come here. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Stay with, Stay us. with us. Our Comfort Tech Reclining at Value City Furniture is up to 20% off during our President's Day sale. Or enjoy no interest financing. We are designer looks only at Value City Furniture. This winter, Comcast Business is helping Team USA and businesses across America stay ahead. Keep yours ahead too with reliable connectivity and secure solutions on the network that can deliver gig speeds to the most businesses. And get access to over 20 million Wi Fi hotspots from coast to coast. So no matter what big event comes up, your team can be ready for what's next. Get started with internet and voice for $35 each a month when you buy both. 
Plus, ask how to get free installation and one month free. Jason Aldean. When the lights come on. Rock and Roll Cowboy Tour 2022. Presented by Wolf Moon Bourbon. Saturday, August 13th, Ruoff Music Center. With Gabby Barrett. And John Morgan. If I didn't love ACM Artist of the Decade, Jason Aldean. Let's get this thing started. It's my kind of party. Reserve seats on sale now at LiveNation.com. Shop Value City Furniture now during our President's Day mattress sale. Save big on Tempur-Pedic and Stearns and & Foster mattress and adjustable base sets. Or get 60 months no interest financing. All during our President's Day mattress sale. Only at Value City Furniture. Just in this morning, Buckingham Palace says Queen Elizabeth has tested positive for COVID-19. She's reportedly experiencing mild cold-like symptoms. The palace said the Queen will continue with light duties. She has received three shots of the vaccine. Both her eldest son and daughter-in-law have also recently contracted COVID-19. If the story will continue to follow today. And how about this? Some terrifying moments for folks enjoying a day at the beach in Miami. Watch this video here, which uh, was posted by police there. It shows a helicopter crashing down into the water right near where people are swimming there. And we know two of the three people on board were rushed to uh, a hospital in the area. At last check, they were in stable condition. A third person was not hurt. Many swimmers, though, who were there and caught off guard by this, then jumped into action to get the people out of that helicopter. People were trying to hold the helicopter up, so the helicopter didn't sink so they could try to get the people out. Um, people on jet skis came up and were trying to help. There's a lot of people coming up to the beach to try to help. But, I mean, seriously, 30 feet one way or the other could have, I mean, landed right on someone. It's still not clear what caused the chopper to go down in the ocean there in Miami. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating. That's terrifying. Oh my goodness. President Biden has indicated he believes a Russian invasion of Ukraine is all but certain. The United States appears ready to respond by issuing sanctions on Russia. If the attack does happen, Fox News correspondent Mark Meredith has the latest from the White House. President Biden says U.S. intelligence officials believe that Russian President Vladimir Putin has already made up his mind and that he plans to invade Ukraine within a matter of days. It was a fairly bleak assessment we got from the president on Friday evening, even though there are still ongoing talks in Europe about ways to avoid war. We have reason to believe the Russian forces are planning to uh, and intend to attack Ukraine in the coming week, in the coming days. We believe that they will target Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, a city of 2.8 million innocent people. Make no mistake, if Russia pursues its plans, it will be responsible for a ca catastrophic and needless war of choice. On Saturday, Vice President Kamala Harris also met face to face with Ukraine's president. He too was in Munich, Germany, attending a security conference. In her remarks, the vice president once again reaffirmed America's commitment to Ukrainian sovereignty. Any threats to your countries, we take seriously and we have rallied our allies and our partners to speak with one voice. And those voices have been reflected throughout the course of these last couple of days and before. But after the meeting, Ukraine's president appeared to take a swipe at the U.S. and its allies for so far not imposing sweeping sanctions against Russia, despite the increase in escalation of tensions and the belief by many not only in Washington but across the pond that war is likely to break out within days. They say we apply sanctions when the war will happen. I'm saying... Fine. But you are telling me that it's 100 percent that the war will start in a couple of days. When, then what are you waiting for? We have seen a little bit of a debate, though, in Europe between EU allies as well as members of NATO who are trying to figure out exactly what should and should not be included in any sanctions package, specifically when it comes to Russian energy exports. At the White House, Mark Meredith, Fox News. And we do have an update on the story we brought you yesterday here on Fox 59 Morning News and bad news for a group of American figure skaters. They've lost their appeal to receive their silver medals before the closing ceremonies at the Winter Olympics. A panel of judges denied that last minute request after they uh, came in second place. 
The results have been in doubt for about two weeks now since a 15-year-old Russian skater tested positive for a banned substance. Still no further reasoning for the ruling was provided. More information on the decision is expected in the coming days. So basically any competition that that Russian skater was involved in, mm -hmm. they're withholding uh, the medals and the ceremonies for that. The Americans were trying, they won silver. Right. They were trying to get their medals and now it looks like that, that's probably not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to see what happens there. Let's talk about our forecast now, shall we? You know, we're talking about the Winter Olympics. We're going to get more like spring today and tomorrow, which is going to be nice, Amber. Yes, spring-like weather to wrap up the weekend and even at the start of the new work week. We still have higher pressure that is over the area, and that's going to provide us with that sunshine for another day. This is a live look in Carmel at City Green where we just have that beautiful start along with temperatures. They are on the chillier side this morning. We are at 25 degrees in Indianapolis. Winds are out of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour. They are going to pick up in speed this afternoon and that's going to drive up the temperatures in a big way later on today. Wind chills right now they are in the teens and we will have eventually seeing highs in the 50s later on this afternoon, upper 40s to the north, lower 50s this afternoon. We're going to have uh, improving temperatures in the next couple of days as well. At this point, we have higher pressure that is over the Ohio Valley, and you can see that wind flow is now out of the south, and that is going to make things much warmer today. We could even have wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour. As I mentioned, it will turn breezy this afternoon with wind speed turning lighter for the evening and overnight hours. Here's a look at our afternoon. It will be a great day to head outside. 50 degrees by 1 o'clock this afternoon should be in the lower 50s for several spots around the state. This afternoon, 53 is going to be the high temperature in Indianapolis and winds will be out of the south southwest 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 35 miles per hour, getting closer to the 3 to 4 o'clock hour today. We'll fall into the 40s this evening, dropping to 45 degrees at 10 p.m. And our low is going to be at 40 in Indianapolis, upper 30s, lower 40s around the state. It will be a cooler start to the day tomorrow, and then it's going to quickly rise temperature wise for tomorrow afternoon. And this is before rainfall pushes in. We'll have mild temperatures heading into Tuesday as well, but it is looking rather soggy for Monday night and into Tuesday. So here's a look at the latest with the timeline with our Fox feature cast. This is one o'clock in the afternoon on Monday, still looking mainly dry across central Indiana. Can I rule out the possibility of an isolated shower chance late in the day? Rain chances are going to ramp up Monday night and into Tuesday. We even have a chance of hearing a few rumbles of thunder for Tuesday, and that is before temperatures sharply drop behind a passing cold front. Heavier downpours, they're also going to be at play for Tuesday, so we're going to have to watch the potential for flooding as well, especially after all the rain that we had at the end of last week and that recent snow. No melt. An additional inch of rain going to be possible in some spots with some of the higher totals concentrated over southern Indiana. 20, uh, 62 rather for the high temperature Monday and then on Tuesday 61. We will be back into the lower 30s at the end of the week. We'll have another round of a wintry mix. That'll be late in the week, so it's definitely looking more like winter and a feel more like winter again by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. All right, Amber, thank you. Looking to buy a new SUV to take on the road this summer? Our auto expert has the perfect vehicle for you. Up next, he'll show us the best one with three row seating. And a big automaker is moving ahead with plans for a new electric production option. We'll see why Nissan is spending half a billion dollars in the southern states. Sunday, the President's Day sale only at The Room Place. Take an extra 25% off your entire purchase. Plus, save with 0% financing for five years and no down payment. Enter to win a $10,000 home makeover. The President's Day sale only at The Room Place. One day, Sunday. Safe auto. Some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. Maybe instead of installing a water slide to get people to come to work, all we needed to do was order lunch through Easy Cater for everyone. 
I'd come in for this. You could do breakfast, treats, box lunches, stuff people love. That does sound more productive. Oh, hey, Claire. I finished the status reports. Thank you. <laughs> no running. How do you get people to the office? Every time. How? Easy cater. The new Doc Toy Hospital is now an exhibit at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Be magically transported to where toys get well and kids have fun. Make those toys all better. You'll feel better too. Doc McStuffins, the exhibit. The President's Day sale you've been waiting on is going on right now at God Be Home Furnishings. With thousands of items in stock and ready to be delivered to your home now. Take an extra 15% off our already low prices. The President's Day sale is happening now at God Be Home Furnishings. Frontline Plus is the number one name in flea and tick protection. So whether you have a first dog, a third dog, or member of the herd dog, a playful dog, a matchy dog, a water dog, a catchy dog, or a hug on the neck that you want to protect dog, Frontline Plus lets you take them everywhere, no matter how you define it. Frontline Flea and Tick Protection. Here, there, everywhere. Available for dogs or cats without a prescription. Sunday, the President's Day sale, only at The Room Place. Take an extra 25% off your entire purchase. Plus, save with 0% financing for five years and no down payment. Enter to win a $10,000 home makeover. The President's Day sale, only at The Room Place. One day, Sunday. Welcome back. If you've shopped for a larger SUV that can seat like six to eight people, the choices can be sort of confusing and the price ranges can be $20,000 to more than $100,000. That's expensive. Our auto expert Nick Miles lists off those vehicles that he scores the best out of all three row SUVs. Of course, in America, everything is bigger and better, including our midsize SUVs. And we've reviewed all of the three row SUVs. So what are the best sellers and the best for you to buy? Here's the list. Vehicles are scored on reliability, standard features, safety, value, usability, and driving dynamics. On this year's list is Subaru with the Ascent. It has a huge number of features and starts under $33,000. Now, modern third row vehicles have loads of legroom. This Ascent has over 42 inches, its own heating and cooling in the second row, plus its own USB port, 18 cup holders, and I don't have to touch my sister. Driving dynamics score well, as does standard equipment. Now, Subaru is also the adventure brand, and even though the Ascent is not based off of a truck, it's still very capable. With its box engine, it has a low center of gravity and X mode, which means that it can do some fairly decent off-roading. There's plenty of other vehicles on the list that should be test driven. The Toyota Highlander, which comes in a hybrid and has an extremely spacious second row. A newcomer in the three row SUV segment is the Jeep Grand Cherokee L. The Jeep Grand Cherokee itself is the most awarded SUV in America, but the addition of the third row is relatively new and brings it lots of more luxurious features to the brand. The new Toyota Sequoia is also worth mentioning. It's a diamond in the rough. The capstone trim level is exquisite, built, designed, and tested in America, and will have great reliability and resale value. Our pick for the most outstanding third row has to be the newest luxury brand in America, Wagoneer. An extension of the Jeep brand and the third all-American luxury brand next to Cadillac and Lincoln, Wagoneer is the ultimate three-row vehicle. Hollywood meets Nashville, a true Americana mode of transport. It even pays tribute to those that served with the American flag on the door. Class and luxury, a feeling of genuine home-felt goodness. For Fox 59, I'm Nick Miles. Nissan says it's investing $500 million in its Canton, Mississippi plant. The plan is to convert it into an electric vehicle manufacturing facility. Nissan is planning two new electric models starting in 2025 as part of an $18 billion fleet expansion through 2023 or 2030. Nissan will retain employees and add 2,000 more jobs. The decision comes after the expectation of a full recovery from the semiconductor chip shortages out there. 
Well, Hoosiers getting the opportunity to explore a deeper level of black history this weekend. Still ahead, we'll share how local businesses got involved to help everyone from learn and understand each other. Plus, Hey, good morning, guys. We've had plenty of surprises here at the Boat and Outdoor Show, but I think we might have saved the best for last. We've got a great surprise with Twiggy. He's going to get some water skis on here in just a couple minutes. They're made with pride right here in the USA. Honda is the most American-made automaker, with over 28 million Hondas made in 12 plants across America. Search your local Honda dealer today. American Mattress. The biggest President's Day sale ever is at family-owned American Mattress. Get a free adjustable, free pillows, free delivery setup and removal. Get a Competition Crusher mattress for only $149. Save up to $500 on luxury Tempur-Pedic sets. Plus, get zero down and 0% financing. Visit any one of our 60 locations and shop the name you've trusted for over 35 years. American Mattress. American Mattress. Come right under good night's sleep. Call 1-800-TO-DREAM. Get fast, reliable internet for any budget. Act now to get Xfinity Internet for a great low price. Or visit Xfinity.com slash free to see if you qualify for the Affordable Connectivity Program. Qualifying customers can get free high-speed internet for more streaming, chatting, and gaming on all your devices. Ready for more value? Add Xfinity Mobile for as little as $15 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash free, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. At Kroger, we believe fresh is all about standards. That's why we do up to a 27-point inspection on our produce. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more. Keeping only the best of the best on our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Kroger, fresh for everyone. At Batteries Plus, we power family road trips. We power bedtime stories. We power our local hospitals. We power connections with friends. We do more than replace batteries and fix phones and tablets. We help our neighbors power their lives. How powerful is that? Need a phone fixed? We got it. Get powered in-store, curbside, and at BatteriesPlus.com. Hang on to that hunting fishing license. Bring it to the Indiana Deer, Turkey, and Waterfowl Expo on Thursday, February 24th, and get $4 off adult admission. This one ticket gets you into both the Ford Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show and the Indiana Deer, Turkey, and Waterfowl Expo. Don't miss the Big Time Hunting Seminar Series or the 811 Fishing Seminar Series. Remember your hunting fishing license on Thursday, February 24th only, and save $4 off box office admission. Get the details at IndieSportsShow.com. Another Renfro production. Everyone deserves stylish and quality furniture. So I'm calling all Bobs to help get the word out. Like this Bob, the original Bob. Hi, I'm Bob, the Bob. President's Day weekend is here, and I'm celebrating big time with free treats in all my cafes, plus untouchable values on living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, and my world-famous Bobblepedic mattresses. And if you love value as much as I do, stop by your local Bob's Discount Furniture Store to get your free honorary Bob pin. Come celebrate all President's Day weekend long. In seven years, you can meet, get married, have kids, get a dog, and still be covered in your Honda certified vehicle. Get a seven year, 100,000 mile warranty. You are covered till 2029 when you drive Honda certified. Search a local Honda dealer today. It's just after 8 30 on this beautiful Sunday morning. We are getting ready for a windy warm up in central Indiana. Although it's still chilly and cold out there right now, it's going to warm up though. So if you have plans to get outside today, today would be the day to do it today and tomorrow before some changes roll in. Temperatures are nice. We're looking at rain though to come really amber some spring like uh, conditions through the week until it starts to dip back down to winter again. Of yes, so we're monitoring a couple of systems. The first one is going to bring us rain. That's when we're going to have the mild temperatures. The second one it's going to be more winter like once again, so you want to get outside and enjoy the sunshine for today. The mild temperatures that are expected heading into the afternoon. We're not picking up on much activity on our 
satellite and radar and live guardian radar. That's because of higher pressure that's still in control of our weather pattern at this point. And we have winds out of the south right around 10 miles per hour. That is too also creating a slight wind chill out the door this morning. Right now it feels like the teens across central Indiana, but it is going to warm up nicely for today because of those southerly winds that are going to pick up for the afternoon. Here's a look at the temperature trend for today. Should be back into the 40s midday then this afternoon highs in the lower 50s and upper 40s. We're going to have a high at 53 degrees in Indianapolis. Normal high for the date is 42, so temperatures are going to be unseasonably warm. We are timing out our next round of rain. We will have warmer weather heading into the start of the week, but that's going to bring us our next opportunity for showers. So we'll have the latest on the timing of that system and how much your community could see. That's all coming up in your forecast. All right, Amber, thank you. And Fox 59 continues to celebrate Black History Month. Hoosiers got the chance to explore it on a deeper level this weekend. That's with the Black History Month immersion event. Art, poetry, performances were all on display at the Global Village Welcome Center off Lafayette Road. Guests could also shop with Black-owned businesses. Organizers say it allows anyone from any culture to learn and understand each other. America has so many people that are rich in culture, right? But I think people need to know and, and appreciate that black history is part of the American fabric. And so we have done so much for this country. And what better way to show it than to have people come and tell the stories of our ancestors. Admission to the Global Village Welcome Center is free. The artwork will be on display for you to visit until March 14th. 43 animals have found their forever homes this weekend after Indianapolis Animal Care Services hosted a big adoption event yesterday. But the shelter says they're still in a state of emergency with staffing shortages and not much space. Right now, they're only accepting animals that are in emergency situations, and those surrendered animals are at a high risk of euthanasia. If you find a lost pet, they really are asking you to try to find the owner before you take it to the shelter. If you do want to surrender your own pet, you may want to consider other resources in the area or try finding a home for that animal on your own. We have every available space that we have with temporary crates set up. So they are lining the hallways, they are lining some of our larger rooms that have some floor space, and we have dogs in every available kennel and also in every available office as well. So we've got, we have dogs everywhere. All adoptions are free right now for dogs and cats. The shelter is open today from 10 till 5.30 and every day next week except for Monday. All right, let's think about spring, right? The Indy Boat Sport and Travel Show was canceled last year because of COVID, but it's back in a big way at the Indiana State Fairgrounds this weekend. Fox 59's Justin Kolar has not fallen into the water yet. He hasn't gotten wet. He hasn't had a fish uh, sort of shake out of his hands after he caught <laughs> one. So, so far, so good, Justin. <laughs> Hey, we're going to go for the perfect 10 across the board here. Now we are joined by Twiggy, the water skiing squirrel. We're going to get Twiggy a little life jacket on here and get her uh, water skis ready to go here at the Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show this morning. We've been having so much fun out here and we're joined by Lou Ann Best. Tell me a little bit while you're putting this on here. How well, hard was it to train Twiggy to do this? Well, I tell everybody it's like training a husband. You give them lots of love and affection and tell them the same thing over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get on there here. That's a word to the wise. Training a squirrel is like training your husband. Yeah. <laughs> but look at how majestic and miraculous it is after the fact here. <laughs> so tell us a bit, you know, we have Twiggy's got a, aw, a little life jacket on. Why is this so important uh, part of this mission here? Well, my husband, um, he passed in a boating accident where he did, forgot to grab a life jacket before he jumped in to help drowning people fight you and do whatever they get or they whatever they can to get above the water sure. and get air so my husband didn't make it so I kept on with Twiggy and started promoting water and boating safety now she is we've partnered with the National Safe Boating Council and the Wear It campaign so Twiggy is a national spokes animal for water safety like Smokey Bear. I can only imagine kids and families when they see Twiggy doing this are just 
in shock. I mean, I've seen the commercials with Twiggy. I've heard of Twiggy the Water Skiing Squirrel, but I've never actually been able to see it with my own eyes. What is that, uh, what is that reaction like for folks when they're like, that is literally a squirrel on water skis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Twiggy. I don't care what age you are. Yeah. Everybody comes to see Twiggy and wants to pet her and hold her and get a picture. <laughs> yeah. Can you grab Twiggy here and we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll end the little shot right here. Twiggy's going to come back around and we'll have Twiggy do the sign out for uh, our morning show here. Just one second, Twiggy's coming over to Mama here, Luann. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I'm Justin Kolar here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. This is Twiggy, Fox 59 Morning News. <laughs> Twiggy! Hey, Twiggy, Twiggy, it's your world. And we're just and living just in it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> as quoted awesome. in Anchorman. How, what is it? What's How the about that? That's, that squirrel, that squirrel can, can water ski. ski. <laughs> that's awesome kind stuff. of messed that Good one up. Good message yeah. behind it, too. Water safety. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, a skiing squirrel. What could, I mean, come Perfect on. Perfect morning. Speaks for itself. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up next, state basketball championships are starting to take shape around Indiana. After the break, we're going to recap some of the semifinal rounds of the Indiana High School Girls Basketball Playoffs. Who's moving on to play for the title? That answer, much more up next in sports. And it may be a chilly start to the day, but I'm tracking much warmer weather for the start of the work week. I'll let you know how long the spring-like temperatures are going to stick around in your forecast. Injured in a car accident? It happens. Hire Hensley. Blindsided on a motorcycle? It happens. Hire Hensley. Accident involving a semi? It happens. Hire Hensley. Hensley Legal Group. Call 888-HENSLEY. Madonna at AmericanEagle.com is monitoring a website with dozens of integrated systems. So if anything goes wrong, she'll spring into action before you even notice. Nothing gets by Madonna. <laughs> At AmericanEagle.com, we got a guy, Tim, who's so good with emerging technologies that help his clients grow, right. you'd think he was from the future. <laughs> Are you a hologram from the future, Tim? <laughs> Very realistic. Yes! Fun? The weather tech's here. WeatherTech is the ultimate protection for your vehicle. Laser measured floor liners, no drill mud flaps, cargo liner, bump step, seat protector, and cup phone. What about my car? WeatherTech. Thank you, Central Indiana, for making Ford F-Series the best-selling trucks in America for the 45th straight year. And it's no wonder. When you have an F-150 with best-in-class payload and Super Duty with best-in-class horsepower, you know that F-Series is not only built for America, they're built for Central Indiana. Now, build to order a new Ford vehicle including an F-150 truck and get $1,500 bonus cash. Hurry to your Central Indiana Ford dealer today. Meet Chip. 30 years ago, he started a small business with a big idea. Today, there's a new building, a new fleet of equipment, and a new era of leadership. But we know Chip, and at Indiana Members Credit Union, we know he plans to keep growing, building business with the next generation. IMCU is here to help with secure and simple account management tools and commercial financing to grow business. Today, it's all about Chip. Tomorrow, it's all about you. Because at IMCU, it's you that matters. Slip and fall, it happens. Hire Hensley. Heard it work? It happens. Hire Hensley. Social Security benefits denied? It happens. Hire Hensley. Hensley Legal Group. Call 888-HENSLEY. Good morning, this is sports, I'm Dave Griffiths. Four classes, four teams still battling for a state championship in each of them entering yesterday, but we couldn't keep them all. Girls basketball semi-states took over Indiana gyms yesterday afternoon and evening. We're going to start in Class 4A out in Jasper, second-ranked Franklin, facing Mid-State Conference rivals Mooresville. Second quarter action, Scarlett Kimbrell, her third three of the half, 11 points for her in that first half, and the Grizzly Cubs of Franklin led by 10 at the break. But the pioneers of Mooresville rally, Abigail Young connecting from deep, cutting it to a two-point ball game. Franklin, though, with a response in the fourth quarter. Ashlyn Trailer driving strong. Bucket off the glass plus the foul. 
She led everyone with 21 points on the day. The Pioneers not going away, though. Rachel Harshman, her three cuts it to a three-point game with a minute to play. Later, Grizzly Cubs turned it over. Mooresville one more chance, but don't get a good look at it. Not quite. Franklin wins 49 to 46. Who's going to be up next for him? More 4A action in the port. Noblesville and Crown Point. Miller Nation traveling well. Tied late in the first quarter. Noblesville pokes it away, gets the steal. Ashlyn Shade scooping it up and taking it all the way by herself. Easy layup off the glass. Beats the buzzer, makes it 16-14 after one. Second quarter. Noblesville blows it wide open with some clutch shooting. First, Caitlin Shoemaker. Pops the three, knocks it down. Quite a few players hitting from beyond the arc in this second quarter. Ashlyn Shade, one of them. The UConn commit, let me just say, if you were there last night, you understood why UConn's interested in her. Great passing from Noblesville in this game. Ava Shoemaker gets it in the opposite corner, drains the triple, 62-41. Noblesville moves on. We'll go to 2A ball. University has been knocking on the door recently. The Blazers are back in semi-state for a third time in the last four years, but they haven't made it to the championship since 2008. Well, the 14-year drought, does it end this year? Blazers taking on Forest Park in Jasper. A few shots falling for University early, but this Peyton Say three-pointer does. University trailing big at halftime. The Rangers stretch their lead in the second half now. University trying to get going. Say another two-pointer. That's off the fast break. Then Jordan Patterson in the corner, knocking down the three off the inbounds play. University hitting shots there on the run here again. Patty Chikamba, the rebound, puts it back in, and she's fouled. She had 12 points. Blazers cut the deficit to just seven, but Forest Park had another run. Amber Treader beating the third quarter horn with that shot. Let all scores with 17 did Amber. Forest Park wins 53-44. Frankton played for the 2A title two years ago. They're trying to get back to the field house. Fairfield in their way. First quarter, Emma Sperry with the ball. A little fadeaway jumper action for Frankton. Those are the first points. Didn't happen through uh, the first half of the first quarter. Moving on now to the second quarter. That's Bria Gardner from beyond the arc. Fairfield leads 8-7. to seven. Now time winding down in the first half. Sperry picks up the loose ball and goes straight to the hoop. Aggressive take. Frankton leads 18-13 at halftime. We'll skip to the fourth. Things getting intense. Frankton down by two, but Bailey Webb gives her team the lead with that triple. 11 seconds to go now. Fairfield gets one more chance, but the Eagles' defense is swarming. Fairfield can hardly get a shot off. 50, uh, 35, rather, 34. Frankton wins and moves on. Indiana Wrestling State Championships decided last night at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. We'll start with the small weight class. 106 pounds, Jake Hockaday of Brownsburg is a state champion. After a 4-3 decision, he becomes the first Bulldog freshman to ever win states. The team finishes second. 120 pounds, Warren Central's Kyrell Level. A 9-5 decision for the state title. The first state title for Warren in quite some time. 132 pounds, Cathedral Zeke Seltzer finishes his career with a third state championship. Was in the championship match all four of his years in his career. Heck of a career for the young man. The team champions were crown point. Their crowning moment, 138 pounds. Jesse Mendez coming away with the pin here. He becomes the 10th four-time state champion in Indiana history. One of the best to ever hit the mat in the Hoosier State. The long IndyCar season is coming to an end as the open wheelers make their final preparations before the grind begins next weekend. Navigating the changes from year to year, team to team, race to race, whoever manages those changes best will have a good shot to lift the Astro Cup at year's end. The cars are you know, changing every year with additions, the tires always shift a little bit. You know, the dynamics within the paddock change, we've got new drivers, we've got you know, new team personnel, there's a lot of people that move around. So it's just a never ending game of trying to keep up. And you know, for us, we, we want to get to a point where we're not just keeping up, but you know, we're leading the pack. Uh, if we're leading the pack, then we're doing things right. And in the stock cars, the countdown is complete. Zero days remaining until the 64th running of the Daytona 500. That means it's today, one o'clock, right here on Fox 59. That is sports for this Sunday morning. Go out and make it a great day.
Good morning, and we are starting off our Sunday with bright skies and chilly temperatures. We're still going to have a lot of sunshine for today, but temperatures, they're going to improve as the day goes on. This afternoon, wind speeds are going to pick up. We'll have gusts up to 35 miles per hour out of the south, and that's going to contribute to a quick warm up, not only today, but for the next couple of days in our forecast. 25 is the temperature right now, and we have those southerly winds on the lighter side at this point point, but as I mentioned, they are going to pick up in speed this afternoon, but it is still enough to create a wind chill factor. We're currently in the mid 20s, but it feels like the lower teens this morning. Here's a look at Live Guardian radar, not picking up much activity on the radar. Mostly clear skies are on tap for us for today just because of higher pressure that is still in control. Now that that high pressure system has shifted off to the east, we have winds streaming in out of the south and that will drive those temperatures up this afternoon. We're talking about highs eventually rising into the 50s. We should be in the 40s by midday, 44 degrees at the lunch hour with our high temperature set for 53 degrees in Indianapolis. Normal high for the date, 42. So temperatures are going to be unseasonably warm for this time of year. If you have plans this evening, the weather looks pleasant. We're going to have that mostly clear sky in place and then temperatures. They're going to stay in the 40s. We'll drop to 46 degrees at 8 o'clock, 44 at 10 p.m. Staying breezy, but wind speeds, they are going to turn lighter compared to what we'll see this afternoon. They'll still be out of the south southwest 10 to 20 miles per hour, and that's going to keep temperatures closer to that 40 degree mark. We'll be in the upper 30s, lower 40s for the overnight low. Tomorrow, even warmer. High at 62 degrees. Highs tomorrow are going to be trending about 20 degrees above average, and then we are going to have a chance for rain late in the day. Here's a look at the latest with the timing with our Fox Futurecast. During the morning hours, more clouds are going to fill into the state. And then we could have an isolated shower chance late in the afternoon on Monday with more of those shower chances ramping up for Monday night and into Tuesday. The rainfall is going to turn more widespread over the area, and we even have a chance of hearing a few rumbles of thunder developing for Tuesday early on in the day. Heavier downpours, they're going to be likely too, especially over south central Indiana. That's where some of the higher rainfall amounts are likely going to be concentrated with this system. Again, Monday night into Tuesday is when it's going to turn rather soggy across central Indiana, upwards to an inch of rain going to be a possibility. And then we have another system we're going to closely watch at the end of the week. That's going to bring us a wintry mix and eventually turning over to all snow showers. That taste of spring won't last very long and it's going to turn much colder by the middle part of the week. Wednesday, you're high at 33 degrees, 36 Thursday, rain snow mix and then all snow showers heading into Friday with a high of 31 degrees. I am over the snow. Like, can we just <laughs> stick with spring? We got a little taste of it today and tomorrow. Come on. But the snow is not done with us. It's definitely not. We've had late snows we in spring. Mm -hmm. Yes, like we late, have. late April. Sure. Let's We've hope. had snow in May before. So. I'm going to say let's. I don't mean to crush your dreams, but yeah, I mean, thanks, that's guys. just I don't how even it know is. What to say now. Cool. It doesn't awesome. need to be a sticking snow. Just a little <laughs> snower is OK here and there. Is it? It's not. I, I think it's not OK. Maybe not in May. <laughs> no, I, we had that one big snow. That's enough. So it's not. yeah, exactly. All right. We will uh, <laughs> see if we can move on from it. In the yeah. meantime, still ahead, the YMCA is preparing to kick off this year's season of a lecture series focused on racial reconciliation in Indianapolis. We're going to tell you when this historic monster meeting series will start back up and how you can take part. Viral videos of travelers gone wild spreads fear among flight crews. Getting our noses broken, our teeth knocked out of our mouths. We don't feel safe. Fox 59's Shell Edme investigates the rise in unruly passengers. It's not acceptable. What's being done so we can safely fly the friendly skies? We want all of us to get there safely. Monday on Fox 59 News at 10. Shop Kittle's President's Day Sale and pay zero interest or take extra discounts up to 20% off. The styles you love, in stock, ready for free delivery to your door during the President's Day Sale at Kittle's. Jeff Chapman here with a question from Dave. Dear Man for All Seasons, 
My rooms are too cold, and my daughter's boyfriend needs to chill out. It's a little chilly in here, don't you think? <sighs> can you help Dave? Well, sure, Dave. The Chapman Heating, we can fix that furnace, so the only chill in that room little chilly is in the here. cold shoulder you give that young man. Cool it, Casanova. Chapman took care of that. <sighs> for all your heating, cooling, and plumbing needs, remember the man for all seasons, ChapmanHeating.com. I still think I can sell the car myself. This is going to take all day. And I have big plans. Brunch. Bubble bath. At WeBuyAnyCar.com, selling your vehicle is always fast and fair. And a nice pedicure. All done. Don't trade in or sell by yourself. Go to WeBuyAnyCar.com now for a free online valuation. Get in, get out, get paid. Some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. Fox 59 wants to know, what is Indy's best bowling alley? Log on to fox59.com slash Indy's best and nominate your favorite today. Then watch Fox 59 Morning News this Friday to see Indy's best. Shop Kittle's Mattress Max for President's Day savings on all the best brands. Save $100, $200, save $300, $500 or more in stock and ready for free delivery. Only at Kittle's Mattress Max. Hey, welcome back. The YMCA of Greater Indianapolis is kicking off the season, a new season, of the historic Monster Meeting Lecture Series focusing on racial reconciliation in Indianapolis and beyond. And Tony Wise from the YMCA of Greater Indianapolis is here to tell us more about this. We were just chatting during the break about how this goes all the way back to 1904 and then some 60 years uh, without it happening in Indianapolis. And now here it is once again. Can you explain a little bit, I guess, uh, what the Monster Meeting series is to folks at home? Well, it's a lecture series. Mm. And again, it started back in 1904 under the leadership of Thomas Taylor at the Senate YMCA downtown. And I was just talking about how it's really great timing that we're starting this conversation again about recon racial reconciliation. And the conversation went beyond that at that time. Also social issues, there's a lot of stuff that was happening in the black community. The meeting started out, honestly, about more about evangelistic type things. And then under the leadership of another executive, took it to another level and talked about political climate mm -hmm. and just bringing awareness to the black community. We were, of course, created equal from the beginning, but we weren't treated equal. So that conversation about how do we move the needle in our community and help one another out. And so for this one coming up, and it starts up again next weekend, folks can hear uh, directly from the daughter of Malcolm X. I mean, this is yes. uh, what, a, what an opportunity. Yes, we reached out to her, Ilya Shabazz, and she's really relevant right now. She's a great writer. She's, she's a producer. She's done a lot in the community. She's done a lot to carry on her father's legacy, but also starting her own. And we wanted to reach out to her, and she agreed to, to come. So there are two options. There's a virtual option. There's the in-person option. I do want to tell everybody that time is running out. We don't have much time before we reach capacity. We mm -hmm. want to make sure that we're still practicing cautions with, with COVID and everything. So they can still register to attend in person, but also online. So they just simply need to go to monstermeeting.org and register. There's also an opportunity for them to donate to. We, of course, are always looking for funds to sure. to make sure we're 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 staying aware of that. Given the the state of of our country right now and the conversations that are, are that are taking place, what do you hope someone will take away from this lecture series, mm -hmm. even if it's just hearing from a perspective that they've never heard before mm -hmm. or or considered before? Right. Well, you know, we started this with the theme of finding your voice. So we want people to know that they have a voice and we want them to develop that voice. So don't be afraid to have those conversations. Sometimes they can be difficult, but if you can start those conversations, we can make sure we don't repeat some of the same mistakes we made in the past. Well, we wanna make sure folks know when and where uh, they can find out more. Again, it's starting uh, next weekend, right? Next weekend uh, on Sunday, February 27th, at the doors open at 3.30 p.m. And they usually last for about an hour and a half to two hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can register again 
for those options at monstermedia.org. And follow us on Facebook and also Instagram. And we should have some information there uh, we can put on the screen here in just a second that you can check out at fox59.com. That's where you can, uh, uh, you know, book a, a spot for yourself or the link there for the virtual option as well, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so check it out at fox59.com. We'll link that up. The Monster Meeting Lecture Series starting up again, and then uh, then you're looking beyond uh, to June. And Juneteenth weekend October, right? is for the next one, and then the one after that, October 2nd of this year. All right, to be updated, all right. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for letting us know. All right, Melissa, to you. Sounds like a wonderful series. Now we've got a lot more coming up in the next half hour. From water skiing squirrels to kayaks, fishing, and RVs, our Justin Kolar continues to check out all the fun activities. Looking forward to seeing what he has in store here at 9 o'clock. Closed captioning is sponsored by Terry Lee Hyundai on Highway 37 in Noblesville. Sunday, the President's Day sale, only at The Room Place. Take an extra 25% off your entire purchase. Plus, save with 0% financing for five years and no down payment. Enter to win a $10,000 home makeover. The President's Day sale, only at The Room Place. One day, Sunday. These days, we're spending more time than ever before at home. Where the perfect pendant can spotlight your newfound skills in the kitchen. Where the right chandelier takes daily dinner from basic to brilliant and where your decorating choices are all of a sudden illuminated. With Patriot Lighting, your lighting becomes a reflection of your personal style. Modern, sleek, eclectic, whatever your pleasure. We have hundreds of options to make your home shine a little brighter. Find your style with Patriot Lighting, only at Menards. If you're always asking, where next? Capital One has a new class of travel card for you. Introducing Venture X. Earn 10x miles on hotels and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One Travel. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges. Find your where next with Venture X. What's in your wallet? My 93-year-old mom was alone in the hospital when she lost her battle with COVID. Being apart was so hard on the family. I'm so grateful that she could spend her final days with someone like Shante, someone driven by compassion. We're so blessed that she became a nurse. Shante's a real hero. Be someone's hero. If you have a why, IWU can show you how. With over 160 online programs, you know why. IWU is how. Love is in the air on Indy Now. All month long, we're giving you ideas on how to bring more love into your life. Oh, I'm okay. so happy that you're eating right now. Oh my gosh, this is so, so are we. Whether it's a visit from a puppy Valentine, and Orla here is looking already good on TV. She you sees herself. Food. Or lessons on how to mix a festive cocktail. Yeah, good job! Good job. Don't limit the love to just one day. Watch Indie Now every morning at 10 on Fox 59. You're watching Fox 59, Indy's home for Daytona 500. Get it now at The Room Place. Save with our low price guarantee on thousands of living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, and mattresses. In stock and ready for immediate delivery. Right now at The Room Place. Catch meteorologist Jim O'Brien on Fox 59. Another chilly morning for central Indiana, but temperatures will improve today. Find out how much warmer it's going to be this afternoon and into the work week in your forecast. Police are asking for your help finding a vehicle involved in a deadly hit and run this weekend. Details on what they're looking for. Hey guys, we're still here at the Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show and I'm with Winston. We're going to jump in the pool here, not me, Winston is, in just a little bit. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. Yeah, Justin's already jumped into the water for us within the last uh, few weeks or so. so. Yes. I think Winston's going to get some serious air I jumping can't into wait. that water. That's going to be awesome. Thanks for being with us, everyone. I'm Zach Myers. And I'm Melissa Crash, your weather authority. Amber Hardwick also here with us this morning. 
he, that Justin, he's always up to something. <laughs> you know, I never know what's going to be happening every time we check in with him, but I cannot wait to see that. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be heading yeah. to that show today because it's so beautiful out. Like, we want to get out and do something And we'd today. love to yes. send him to these fun things because we know he's going to, like, make the most of it. He's so the best. Very cool. He keeps it really entertaining throughout Doesn't the show. He? Love oh. it. So fun. You know what? This weather looks great for today. Yes. If you have plans, hopefully you can get outdoors at least at some point today. This is a live look in the Lawrence area where temperatures are still in the 20s, but we're at least seeing that full sunshine across central Indiana. And we're not tracking any showers on the radar. It's looking quiet. That's because of higher pressure that's still over us, and that's going to keep things dry for today, tonight, and even heading into tomorrow morning. The biggest difference for today, temperatures are going to be much warmer heading into the afternoon. Right now we are approaching that 30 degree mark in Indianapolis. We have winds out of the south, 5 to 15 miles per hour, 32 already in Shelbyville, 31 in Muncie, and currently at 28 degrees in Kokomo. Still seeing wind chills in the teens and lower 20s. Check out how much temperatures are going to climb today. We should be back into the lower 50s this afternoon with our forecast high at 53 degrees between 3 and 4 o'clock this afternoon. Plus, it's going to turn windy, gusts up to 35 miles per hour, going to be a possibility for today. I'll let you know how long that spring like feel is going to last in your forecast. Now to a Fox 59 crime tracker alert. Police arrested two juveniles after a chase that ended in a crash last night. Yeah, we know the crash happened near on the near north side near 22nd and College. Not clear right now what started the pursuit. IMPD says it ended when that driver ran right into that pole there. Now we know that the car was stolen and police say that they also found a gun, an illegally possessed gun in the car. Both juveniles were taken into custody. Police are now asking for your help to find the person who hit and killed a man early yesterday morning and then took off. It happened on the south side near the intersection of East Troy Avenue and Beach Street. This surveillance video shows the man walking down East Troy Avenue just before 330. As he approaches the Beach Street intersection, what is believed to be a gray Honda Odyssey comes up from behind and hits him. Police say the man was pronounced dead there on the scene. Police say the van is likely damaged on the front passenger side. A woman who lives nearby told us she hopes that whoever was driving will do the right thing and turn himself in. I hope they come forward. I hope that they feel so guilty. I hope they feel like they can't sleep at night. They can't eat. You know, they need to come forward and and say, I'm sorry I did this. Police are asking anyone who has information to give them a call or call Crime Stoppers. That number is 317-262-TIPS. <music> Happening today, the community will come together to honor a state police sergeant and her daughter who died in a house fire in Monticello. State Police Sergeant Stephanie Thompson and her 17-year-old daughter Maya died in that fire in White County on Thursday morning. Thompson was a 23-year veteran with State Police. Maya was known as a strong swimmer for her high school. A candlelight vigil will be held for them tonight at 6 p.m. in the Twin Lakes High School teacher parking lot there in Monticello. Also today, the Karuna Precision Wellness Center and Indianapolis HealthPlex are teaming up to support cancer patients as well as survivors and their families. February is Cancer Prevention Month and they're hosting a health fair and a blood drive today. It's from noon until 4 o'clock on the main floor of the Indianapolis HealthPlex and this is part of a, uh, a health fair focused on cancer that's happening this weekend. You can come by and learn more about cancer related services and research. They're asking anyone who can to donate blood. The needs never been higher. They're collecting donations for the annual Relay for Life fundraiser as well. Well, it is still cold outside. It's going to warm up a little bit this week, so time to start thinking about spring at the great uh, and the great outdoors at the Indianapolis Boat, Sport, and Travel Show. Yes, it is time. Although the show was canceled last year because of COVID, like many other things, the celebration, it's back better than ever at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Yeah, we're going to get a look now at what Justin's up to. I'm hearing some splashes in the background soon, Justin. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, if you've been hearing splashes, that's for good reason, because we've got Winston, the water Labrador, 
he is just chomping at the bit, ready to get in this pool, as you can see here. But first, before we do that, we're going to need a drum roll and all that. But first, we're going to talk with Dave Christian, his handler here with Alpha Canine University. Tell me just a little bit about why this is so exciting for folks. You can't see it, but there's two, three big grandstands here. Uh, yeah. A lot of people love this. Yesterday afternoon, we probably had close to 1,000 people. Everybody loves watching the dogs do this. I mean, most people love dogs, and this is a lot of fun. I started this like 20 years ago with my dogs and been doing it since, and it is, it's just a blast. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I know we've kept Winston waiting all morning long here. Let, let's get him in the water. Okay, let's here, let's do this. Guys, let's get a drum roll. I know Winston gets a little excited, so take a look as Dave walks Winston back into the, the back area here. Winston's going to want to sit, but she gets, he gets a little antsy, doesn't want to be patient. So here we go. Let's see how far Winston will go. Oh. Come on, Winston. Come on, Winston. Here we go. Oh, so close. Try, I, I think that was right around 19 or 20 feet right there. What do you say? That was probably close to it, yeah. 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 Pretty good, back. pretty good. Okay, now we're, Winston's going to come back up here. We're going to try to get one more jump in here with Winston and see if maybe we can beat that distance. We'll give it a shot here. Do you want to try it? Who says you can't teach an old no. dog new tricks? Right, okay, let's, let's I'll give it a shot. I'll All right. this for you. Okay, thank you very much. Here we go. Wait. Tell him to wait. He won't do it anyway, but. <laughs> wait. Wait. Oh, 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 hold on one second, one second. We're gonna try again. Winston, wait, wait, wait. Winston, wait, wait. Go, go ahead and throw it. <laughs> it's easy, right? Yes. It was so much harder than it looks right there, and I got really excited, and I just chucked that thing. I thought Justin but, was going in after him. I think. <laughs> I think we got even farther. Zach, I thought the same thing. I started running up here. I'm like, please don't let me slip. I <laughs> go in this water this morning. But so that was so much fun, Dave. Thank you for having us out here. Enjoyed it. I enjoyed for, uh, watching you do it. For it having fun. Winston do this. This has uh, been a real treat, and I hope that Winston gets a couple treats from this. I think that uh, he's earned it. Oh, uh, yeah. He probably earned it. I yeah. guess he has. Well, guys, we have shown you uh, fishing, <laughs> kayaking, Dogs jumping into the water, all bunch of fun things you can do today still here at the Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show. And there's tickets online. You can get a, save a couple bucks if you do it that way. It goes until 5 o'clock tonight, I believe. We'll have all that information for you later on on our website this morning at fox59.com. But until then, I'm Justin Kolar reporting live at the Indianapolis State Fair. Oh, Justin, and thank you so much. Hey, in fairness to Winston, that throw was a little... It was a little short. bit out of his mm -hmm. out of his reach. Uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. That was a Baker Mayfield Justin, throw. I'm sorry. Justin wishes he had that one over. Winston's like, man, we gotta do it again. That wasn't good. We gotta do it on. again. <laughs>